What is up, gamers? We are going to be capping off this, uh, this recent surge of BBS rando with, naturally, an Aqua Seed. Uh, Goth Aqua, to be precise. Uh, this does not have uh, bosses showing up as standard enemies. I think I had my fill of that after last uh, Ventus Nightmare Seed. But, um, I have things like... Um, that EXP multiplier is gone, so I won't be able to just, like, juice over all the enemies, like, immediately, like I was as Terra. And is there anything else that's different about this? I don't really think so, other than that. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, halfway through the stream, I have a very cool... Um, we're going to be running a bet. If you guys... Uh, I have a new reward. Let me uh, Let me play a new reward. Bones and Orb. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, um, like a fighting game Salty Bets channel, where like you know you do channel point bets on <clears throat> who's gonna win. But those are both Quake Three characters, and I have a server now where I can have them duel each other for ten minutes because duels are ten minutes in that game. Um, <clears throat> and in about an hour, we're gonna open up like a thirty-minute bet on either Bones or Orb who will win. And then when I need to take a break, I'll take a 10 minute break and I'll switch it over to that and we'll spectate them fighting each other. And that, that might just be something I do like going forward for a bunch of streams is like a midstream break sort of thing. Bones versus Orb. Match of the decade. Let's get started. Bones. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's really funny. I've actually spent like all morning getting it set up. Stitch and Gale after my playthrough of DDS <clears throat> 1 and 2, I can now say it's the best Atlas game. You are lying to yourself True. if you think otherwise. I genuinely Stitch agree with that. I genuinely think that um, DDS was their uh, magnum opus. That and Nocturne, that entire, just all the, most of the PS2 games that they made just went nuts. Goth Aqua. Small moment of gifted sub, thank you. The viewers want to see level 1 KH1. Magnum Opus, where do you learn that word? That's a, that's a phrase. Even Rado's games? Not those ones. They're neat, but they're not, uh, they don't have that riz. Rush would this up, thank you. Here's a phrase I know modus operandi. I have Time Splicer, holy shit. I just realized that's in my deck. Okay, Time Splicer, Tuesday. I can't attack. Okay, I guess I gotta be careful if I cancel out of Time Splicer because it freaks out a little bit. I just realized orbs are orbs, they didn't get randomized. I know I set this, uh, the settings to have them randomized, but it probably just like randomized them to be normal. Yeah, literal orbs. But if I continue to see enemies that are the same as they're supposed to be, then I'll maybe the seed fucked up, but probably not. Probably just lucky, unlucky. That was unexpected. Goth Aqua. Yeah, after an hour, we'll open up a 30 minute, um, a 30 minute long bet, just so that everybody can get their bets in. Okay, so, what is Aqua's first world? I need to make sure I go to the first one, so that one of the mod features works. The, um, 
better battle system if I I need to go to the first correct world so that I get like the abilities and shit to pop. Castle of Dreams? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought, just making sure. So you go here and then you do something and then you get your shit. Close levels first, they're all level one. That's the thing about this mod. The open world aspect of uh, BBS Rando makes it so that every world you go to will scale up the rest of the worlds. So like, as you land. Now that I've landed here, every other world is going to be level 2. Hey, taunt. The command that... Magnara, okay. The command that genu genuinely does nothing in the single player. You can't get it in a HD without hacking. It's such a cool command, though. I hate that they got rid of it. It's meant for multiplayer because it, like, draws aggro of enemies to you instead of, like, your teammates or whatever, but... It's peak. What the fuck? People get so angry over this song. I've never understood it. It's always just been white noise to me because birth by sleep. I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah, you can't get this command in, uh, HD. You, can, it, you don't get it. It's in... It's in PSP, but not HD. What is Taunt doing near? I don't remember. Which near are you talking about? Raise the command gauge? Oh, that'd be so cool! I wonder if that can be done. Oh, that'd be so useful, actually, because, like, there's so many situations in this game where, you're, like, you're about to run out and you can't do anything because, like, the, you're fighting MF. Can that be done? Custom values for raising meter? It'd be cool if Cure did that, too. Recoded did it so that Cure gives you a little bit of meter, or at least it stops it. I guess you can fast fall with it. Okay, yeah, these are randomized enemies. Boosted D-Link. Yeah, it'd be cool if it gave you back, like, focus or something in meters. Yeah, we're gonna get ice cream like crazy. Look at this. Apple pie. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything with it unless I find even more of these guys, but... Ow. Oh. Rude. Are there any more enemies I can destroy with spell over? Oh, there you are. Yeah, people are like scarred by Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. People are getting filtered by Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Imagine getting filtered by Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Couldn't be me. Bones. Yeah, let's just go this way. What kind of enemies do we got? See, we want to look out for blob mobs because they just give insane exp. Because they 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 gave they give insane exp on their own, but they also split apart like 32 times. Victory pose. Okay. Speaking of good ass commands, this is actually taunt but useful. Because actually, you know, quadruples your exp gain just now. Ever come into the gifted sub? The jewels. Hey, Fleeting Crystal. Bro, I'm getting lucky. This is like making up for all the unluckiness from last seed. I had to fucking whip out an EXP cheat in order to make Ventus level 50. Take that. Yeah. Ah. Random K with the Prime Gaming Sub, thank you very much. Yeah. Now, I should have those abilities. There, they, okay, there we go. They initialized. And there's a double hit, too. Okay. Best command in the game, by the way, victory pose. Don't forget it. Look at my EXP. I mean, if the game audio is too loud, I think it's fine. Yeah. I just never fucking know. This is my first time streaming, ever. If 
fuck do I do with Confuse? I guess I can meld it, maybe? I don't know. Did you know that you get more Time Splicer RCs the more it gets leveled up? It's like one of the only commands in the game that actually scales with that. Like, as it levels up, you get to press more extensions on it. Kinda neat. Half-baked system that only, like, three commands have. Mines and Time Splicer. That's the worst command in BBS. Uh, either Collision Magnet or uh, D-Link Magnet. Or Money Magnet or Energy Magnet. Any of those three weird magnet types. You should watch my video on bad abilities. How many of you got the uh, Dragon Ball Z Ocean dub title card reference in that video? The newest video, the Ventus video? That opening title card with a weird creepy music is meant to be like the, from that weird uh, Ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z where they have those goofy ass like Windows 95 screensaver looking uh, title cards. That's a lot of money. Yeah, all, all those magnets that are like a special like orb magnets, they don't actually draw on the enemies and they staple you to the ground like uh, Zero Gravisa. They are literally worse than useless. Group Asuna. Speaking of useless fucking commands... There's a contender right there. Got the... Give me a normal Asuna so I can make fucking Renewal Block. Give me the best command in the game. Samurai Shampoo PS2 game. Uh, sidetracked. No, I've seen it, but I haven't played it. Maybe I should check it out. Didn't, um, didn't Grasshopper make it? Or the, the people that did, like, Suda? Or whatever? Or, uh, No More Hero? Or whatever? Maybe I'll check it out. I wish I could just get normal Asuna, not group Asuna. Whatever. Does Aqua gain infinite height? Uh, I don't think so. You actually, in order to do shenanigans with her, you have to unequip block, because she can block in midair. Barrier. Maybe with a maybe with a specific style, but it's like a big liability to do uh, aqua copter shenanigans with her because you can't like ground guard. Like the other characters, you can just not have air slide on. That's fine because air slide fucking sucks anyways. When you can just sliding dash, but with aqua, it's her guard that gets in the way. But she has the best guard ever, so you know, makes up for it. Send me in. Playbull, did you like my ocean dub reference? That's a playbull. We passed the sub goal like five minutes ago. Chatter is uh, bringing the heat today. They want to see. I guess it'll be next stream. Assuming I don't do variety next stream. Which I might do, I don't know. It's possible. I don't know. I know I want to do... Another run of Bloodborne. 
like a quick one. Like two stream, I think I'd be able to get it done in two to three. And I also want to do a casual playthrough of Dark Souls 1. Fabled with a 34 months. 34 actually, not just 33. Thank you. And Orox, with the Now he has to use a yarn ball. <laughs> the fucking if I'm warning you guys now, if the yarn ball is in cage four, I will scream. Take that! Orox with the 29, thank you. I really did play DBS at 3 a.m. and I uh, it went exactly as it sounded. You're the only ladies here. That weird scream he does. Ah! Yeah, that, I'll do that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Everyone's screaming, Jesus. Find? What are these weirdo commands that nobody uses? I've been thinking about what my first, like, playthrough of Cage 4 is going to be like, because it's got to be, I'm going to have to stream it. You guys are probably going to be in emote only mode. I don't know if I'll have webcam on. I kind of want to have webcam on, because, like, you got to see my pog reactions and all first playthrough. It won't even be, so. it'll be emote only mode. It'll be you guys just watching me play that game on, uh... Unbothered in my lane. And I guess the mods would be able to talk normally just to, you know, let me know if my stream is like exploding or something. Alright, who's it gonna be? Okay, well. This is actually not, a uh, impossible. This is just Old Nort on his own. Does he get folded by this? Oh, uh, no. I need to level my D-Links. If I put on zero EXP, this would make this go by much faster. I need to level my D-Links. I said that like two seconds ago. Probably come back later, or I could put on zero EXP and that would make this go faster. But I'll come back later. Don't let him grab you. Oh yeah, that's a soft block. Oh, I'll come back later. The evil bald man we talked about last stream. It's weird. He, he has his AI will like teleport away when he gets launched specifically, which is like the opposite of what recoded a uh, recom rechain of memories bosses would do. That's why Sonic Blade is so buff in that game is because. Bosses can't use cards while launched, and Sonic Blade launches in that game, so that's why Sonic Blade is a meme. But it's also overrated because it does no fucking damage. Everybody's like, oh yeah, just Sonic Blade your way through the game. No. Fire your way through the game. Baraga. All day. Oh. Uh, well, I have victory post. I don't need to stop in the Mirage Arena. Okay, let's go do deep space. I wasn't able to do this world last seed because of uh, shenanigans. Yeah, lethal frame is also insane. Probably the most insane because it's like one stop and two attack cards, right? Doesn't matter the values, you just do it and then it just like stun locks into itself. Yeah. Lethal Flame, as uh, the OGs called it, because that's what it was called back then, on uh, my copy. Orbs? They're parrying? I hate these things. Did they get magneted? Nope. They're chads. Oh, 
Bro, am I dying? What's going on? I know all my dealings. Please actually remember to do it instead of just saying it for the fifth time, asshole. There you go. Stupid. Front facing shield guy got all the. BBS has so many enemies that are just reused ideas from older cage games, but they're just annoying here because they made the game wrong. Yes, this guy does like a stun state. Oh, if you, that's actually neat to know is that if you stun this guy, his belly. Uh, becomes flaccid. Ness Key Hand for the new Prime Gaming sub. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the new Prime subs. A lot of that recently. Ah! I'm dead. Yeah, Dark Souls is great. I, um... I wonder what build you'd be most interested in. That's a for real. We out here. Can you help me? Well, there's, um... You can have, uh, big bonk hammers if you spec into strength. Um... If you go dexterity, you can have like katanas and stuff. You could uh, cast some spells. This is the intelligence stat. There's also faith for like holy miracle stuff. Are your Dark Souls 2 enjoyer? Nope, not at all. I respect that it's not Dark Souls 3, though. I think Dark Souls 3 is better than Dark Souls 2, but I think Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring are pretty boneless. In terms of just, like, gameplay feel, the fact that it's just, like, it's, 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 it, fundamentally it feels like Bloodborne, but it's not, is a big problem for me for every game made past, uh, made after Bloodborne. Bloodborne's just that good. Did I just- Whoa, I just invented something. I just accidentally fat-fingered triangle after doing- Like, I, I rolled after pressing triangle, and I, like, insta-stopped everybody with time explosion and then canceled it. Did you see that? I'll have to do that again once it comes off cooldown. That was completely accidental. You like Sekiro? Uh, I didn't get into it, but I think I would really like it if I actually sat down and played it. These orbs are insane! They're actually the worst enemy in the game. <laughs> I think Elden Ring would be Kino if it had the Bloodborne Quick Step if you were in a uh, late uh, carry wait. If it had that, it would be five times better of a game immediately. And I'm actually gonna do a, uh, if I ever stream that game, which I will when the DLC comes out, I will do a modded playthrough where I have the Bloodborne dodge animation and I'll play as Gear Strength Jack Garland with fists only. Fists weapon moves that strength build. What? They have that attack? What the hell is that? It's a leveling up as I keep dying. I love when magic projectiles get parried. Oh my god. What is he? This enemy. Yeah, and also the boss is in Elden Ring. It's like they really designed that game to allow you to summon four skeletons to just like stand around and get hit while Melania does waterfowl dance on them and not you. And the game's like, oh yeah, you're so good at the game. as far away from you guys as I can. Dark Souls 2 feels a lot better to play in every way than Dark Souls. That's... It's an interesting wrong opinion, but I'll let you have it. Go. 
when you get hit in Dark Souls 2, your character goes, oh, and you slide on the ground like you're standing on ice. And you got, like, pushed lightly. And all the sound effects are wrong. So, like, when you have this Y-hander and you do, like, a R2 and you hit the ground, it sounds like you just, like, dropped a boulder instead of slapping a fucking heavy metallic weapon where you get that bing, you know? You get, like, a when you hit the ground with your Y-hander and it sucks. They change the sound effects. It sucks. Now, I will concede that I feel like Dark Souls 2 is closer to like the original kind of Demon Souls, Dark Souls feel where it's like more grounded. And I like that more than like how Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring just kind of had the feeling of Bloodborne but without actually having the move sets of Bloodborne that made Bloodborne's feeling meaningful, you know? Yeah, the parry sound is- uh, okay, yeah, I'll give you that. I literally have it right here. That is definitely the best parry sound, I will admit. I'll give you that. There's there's a lot of cool things about Dark Souls 2. It's like the Mario 2 of the franchise. Dark Souls 3 had a lot of Dark Souls 2 things in it because Dark Souls 2 did some good things. But the feeling sucks. Yeah, I also played Scholar so that uh, everybody was like, Oh yeah, Scholar! Oh yeah, Scholar! Scholar, if you don't know what the deal is with Dark Souls 2, the PS4 and DirectX 12 re-release of the game is also the Legendary Dark Knight mode forced into the game as if it were the only mode. What does that mean? It means there are five times the amount of enemies on screen in every area as a joke. It's so stupid. Like, you run through an area because, like, oh yeah, I've killed all the enemies in this area, I'm just gonna run through and, like, you know, get my stuff, and then, like, five seconds later, there are 20 enemies up your ass. Wow, seven years. Epic boss funny, huh? With the seven months, thank you. But yeah, in terms of my uh, Dark Souls opinions, I think Bloodborne is the best one, followed by uh, Demon Souls tied with Dark Souls 1, I think. Nobody may cry alpha. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I've been following that. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Okay, uh... Yeah, nothing new here. I was glad I made it out of that fight with all my EXP as well. The second half of Dark Souls 1 sucks. I've never played it. I've never gotten that far in Dark Souls 1. It's the only one I actually haven't beaten, which is funny, which will be cool when I get around to streaming it. Moveset mods for Cage 3. Uh, offline, yeah, I've messed with them, but I... One of these days I'm going to do a personalized modded playthrough of Cage 3, but I've played Cage 3 too recently to do it soon. But it'll happen. I already have, like, the mod list. I've had it for a while. I just have to go through and make sure it's all updated and all that. Dark Souls 1 in particular, not even Demon Souls, but Dark Souls 1 in particular has this very solid but stiff feeling to it that I think is great for the franchise. Yeah, it's also like the only game where... Uh, it's the only game where like two-handed, like super heavy, slow weapons feel like they fit. You know? Hey, that's a decent command, I guess. Do I have to do this stupid shit? In the yeah, I do. Okay, I wonder if the enemies are gonna be random here. Okay, this is actually the best possible enemy because they are a big target. Dark balls, so ooh, I don't know. Choose. Oh. Well, these guys are gonna be easy to hit. At least they're not flying around. This is unironically better than the vanilla fight because they're actually just like standing here, just chill. 
Maybe I can actually kill them with this stupid shit. about cage 3 moveset mods is that so many of the issues I have with that game are kind of like baked into the game already. Nice camera. Um, just the very automated feeling of everything is just too much. Now, Kingdom Hearts games have always played themselves in one way or another when you're just like pressing the attack button and comboing. Increasingly so from 1 to 2. But 3? plays itself in the sense that gravity doesn't matter and there's no really visceral feeling for most things. So any mod that changes how things look is just only that. What is that? Okay. Dude, these dark balls can eat my ass. Watch, the last one's gonna, like, appear and kill me at the very end of this. Okay, there you go. Dickhead. What? Ah! Uh, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Okay. Why is this not hitting? What's going on? Okay. First try. You can't stop me. Ooh, air slide. I'm not gonna use that, I don't think. Well, I might as well, because I don't get to do the helicopter thing anyways. Might as well level it up so it's actually like decent. Am I still dying? What's going on? Let's see if I can blow the release over. D-Link abilities are randomized, so something very, very funny and good could be on like Ventus's thing. Ow. I carried like two things there and then I got hit like four times. I'm dead. I think a fundamental flaw of Kingdom Hearts that I kinda... Like, almost all the games, especially past one, is that... I guess other than EXP, which is a big thing in and of itself, you don't really have to fight enemies from room to room, unless it's a mandatory fight. You know? Holy projectiles, Jesus. I just show up. Right, I'm just thinking about how I kind of fell into the speedrunner mentality trap of, um, you know, just uncritically never kill any enemy. As you're going from point A to point B. Beat KH2 at level 30 always. Hey, attack boost. That's actually really good. And I mean, KH2 is built to allow you to do that and thrive. You, you'll have level 1 damage, and level 1 damage is suitable. But Rando reminded me of how fun the game is when you're juiced. Which is something you never really even need to get to unless you, like, kind of spend the extra time. But it'd be cool if you had to fight for chests, and chests were good to actually get in Kingdom Hearts. Because you're invariably going to get people that just want to get through areas as fast as possible and not, like, kill things from point A to point B. Especially in KH3 where you have the threat of losing, like, 30 minutes of progress over your head because it's all one big fucking room. You know? Because it never really fixed that. From DDD. Gather! 
Big thing with Cage 2 is that it holds out on you for too long on all the fun buttons. Even Final Form is, like, optional. And, you know, everybody always talks about, you know, the growth abilities, they're they're optional, so the game isn't designed around them, so there's no platforming and shit like that. It's Cage 2's fundamental flaw. Another fundamental flaw of the game is the control scheme. Uh, I'm used to the command menu, and I love the command menu for being the way it is, but having to use the D-pad in live action, live real time, to uh, use shit like limits is why auto commands exist. Because that, that was the dev's way of being like, oh shit, uh, people can't do that so readily, uh, just to like, make it just pop up on triangle. I have a lot of money, but nothing to buy. Okay, shoot, this horror showed how to claw grip. Claw gripping is huge, at least for me, especially when I play Tony Hawk. Okay, well, well, let me actually think about where to go. I've kind of been just been, like, running around. Yippity yapping. Yeah, and that's why, uh, they literally took, like, the idea of auto command shortcuts in Cage 2, and they made that, like, the entire combat system in 3. Just have everything automatically pop up on your triangle button. I have to press this button, don't I? Okay, hold on. I have to get to the thing. Time Spoister is like the MVP of the run right now, I think. If you had Cage 1 Worlds and Cage 2, you'd be cramped as hell because Sora can move around so fast in those like closet sized worlds. Look at what they did in days. They had to scale everything up for Roxas and his like flying around and shit. I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go through that teleport, now I gotta kill the enemies again. God damn it. Can I go through here? No, goddammit. Okay, I gotta do that again. I'm not thinking. Is this guy gonna freeze? I should actually get out of here before the day soft lock me. <laughs> I was afraid that I was gonna like freeze me on the thing and like soft lock the game. I almost just did. Okay, let's actually kill these enemies and like the rest. Maybe I'll find my dealing like, while there. Oh my god. What were they thinking when they made 500 of these enemies throw projectiles at you like that? I'm not just saying that because it's a randomized gym. These guys do that in Munstro and it's terrifying. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 needed New Game Plus. In fact, they didn't have it as a big fucking mistake. Huge, massive error. Astronomical error. Especially because that game supports it so well, just the idea of scaling up battle levels and starting off with everything. Thinking about max drive forms at the start is kind of funny. You should see every Cage 2 Rando seed. That's exactly what you get to see in Randomizer. Every seed. You'll get final form in like the first hour. Ah, oh, cure. I should be careful. Why are you not dead? Okay. These enemies can't die from being 1 HP in the magnet.
the animation canceling mod can be really weird with a triangle extension commands, so you see me do some weird shit when I'm canceling out of the time splicer here. Dr. Jumba. I can't find DDD platforming fun with full motion because it's too linear. Like when you do an air dash in that game, you get set amount of speed and then you get to the maximum distance and then you stop all your speed immediately. You do a stupid little flip animation and then you're done. No sense of inertia. Like cage like every growth ability in cage too. Sucks. Trash. Same with cage three. Cage 3's flow mode. Cage the non existent flow mode in the game that's really fucking hard to do on purpose. Cage 3 flow mode might as well not exist because it's like so limited and like you, you have to mash it if you want that. Now you're basically saying fuck full motion. Because yeah, you can play the game without it. It's been done. I might do it as a, a fun challenge run. I'd like to try it. Just like run, that'd be an interesting experience for that game because I've played that game just allowing every random, you know, just timer drop to happen without using drop me nots, and it was fine. Overhated mechanic right there, hot take. Bro, where am I supposed to go in this bum ass world? That's Aqua. I never play Aqua, that's the problem. I think there are some spots in Cage 3 where you do, you know, flow-mo wall kicks, but the biggest thing is uphill wall, uh, uphill air slide chaining. Why don't I have air slide, speaking of which? What happened? Why have you not been getting all of this whole time? Yeah, I'm lost. What's going on? What are we doing here? Okay, here we go. Air slide chaining ruined platforming in 3 for me? What do you mean ruined? It's like the only fun thing to do in that game for platforming. At least to me. Does it mean like it, they put everything else to shame? Because that's how I would feel about it. it makes getting glide kind of useless. Yeah, I guess. I mean, glide is kind of just like automatic air slide chain. It's about as fast, but you don't have to do the tech. But it's fun to do the tech even if you have it. No, it's actually faster to air slide. The thing about moving in that game is that the fastest form of movement is gliding while mashing air slide, which feels unfun to do, by the way. You just. Why am I not getting this chest right now? What is wrong with this chest? What's happening? Yeah. Why can't I hit it for a meter, but I can't open it? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> wrong side, asshole. Why would they do that? Okay. Silly. Osaka, I feel, would make a better platforming in 3D game than a combat game. Do you see what the air slide is in this game? Do you see... Have you ever air slided? I mean, this is level 1 air slide, but even level 3 air slide doesn't do it much favors either. Even 3, I mean, it still has the same issue with it being linear and shitty feeling. Not really shitty feeling, just linear. Which I guess is shitty feeling to me, but... Give the original Cage 2 devs, uh, make, have them make a platforming game out of the fucking Cage 2 tech or something. That's what I want to see. Hey, it's this guy. I see why people dislike Cage 1 platforming. It's more demanding than it should be for a game with almost no mechanics for platforming other than jumping. 
and getting high jump like 60% through the game. No? Okay. Free deck capacity. Now that it's been just about an hour, let me start the um, the bet. Orb versus bones. It'll be a 30 minute bet so that everybody can get their uh, bets in and then once I take a midstream break is when we will fire it off. Does whatever you Okay. That is up, but I don't know why it's not uh, on screen. Who is this guy? Oh, Place your bet. If you don't know what it is, you'll see it. In due time. Why is this not centered? There you go. Alright. Okay, that's this world done. Let me just get the chests on my way out. I'll get him. Bones. Man, everybody loves bones, goddamn. I'm looking at the... the amount of money spent, and there's definitely a big favor for bones. That's probably, like, one person with a bunch of money that loves bones. But I know who. Voted orb. Whoa. Somebody loves bones. Uh, yeah, somebody loves bones. Yeah. Once I take a midstream break, I'll take a ten-minute break and I'll run a. Um, it, it is a Quake Live Quake Three uh, bot match. It's a bot duel between bones and orb. Yeah. Let's get out of this world. I think that's everything. I'll come back later if I, you know. I need to level up my air slide, this shit sucks. Let me level up dealing while I'm here. Kinda of dilly dallying right now, but that's okay. We all gotta do it sometimes. Dilly dally. I just wanna see, I, I, the last two seeds, I never properly upgraded all my dealings. I wanna see what the abilities can be. Might have a cracked out D link or two here. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what the better battle system is, it means you can, the big thing is that you can just animation cancel out of almost everything. Which is pretty big, even if it feels a little sloppy, because it's just, you know, this is the, like as much as you could do for BBS. Did I miss a... Whatever. Happens or twice. It despawns after like X amount of seconds. If you're blind and you don't see it. 
wish I had a magnet for this. This bum ass D Link has like no crowd control. And for some reason, didn't seem to level up to level 2 for the deck. It's just like still level 1 commands. So I don't know what's going on. I think. I need to find a better place to do this where there's just a lot of easy to kill small enemies. Normally that would have been the Bob Mob, but it looks like Bob Mobs are replaced by uh, Mandrakes. Yeah, D-Link orbs are just completely random. Sometimes you immediately get two, sometimes you don't get them at all from the entire usage of the D-Link. Cancel the level up animation. This is a level up animation. If you're talking about this, it's a little different. Uh, let me go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Can you explain victory pose in cage 2 terms? Uh, yeah, when you use it, it gives you times 4 of the EXP the enemy you just killed. Plus the times 1 that you got from killing them, so it's times 5. Hope that helps. Literally this exact same explanation I would have given because it's... The terms are the same. Why is Neverland level 10? What the fuck? I guess I'm not going there for a hot minute. Uh, sure, why not? I hope I get a keyblade that's like cool. Cool soon, like an end game juicer keyblade early. That'd be cool. Uh you know what, why not two victory poses? It's not like I have anything better. I know I want my air slide to level four just so it's like good. Yeah, Vinny's Remnant is always gonna be randomized for boss rando. I just don't have enemies being fucking bosses anymore.
Just need to make sure I get EXP as I go because if I if I wait to do it later, it'll become too difficult for me to do it if I'm a lower level. I gotta do it on on the go. Ah, that's pretty good fire. I'll take that. I can do a lot with that. I think two of those gets me uh, once more, doesn't it? With a wellspring. Yeah. Speaking of fleeting crystals, look at these dudes. Attack boost is just 25% physical boost, right? Or something. Never really read the item description for that. Don't freeze me, please. Of course. Cool animation to be frozen in, I guess. Dealing. Rain fell. Oh, that's a starting cube. I thought that was Stormfall. What the fuck? I almost fogged. Almost. But now I've unpogged because it wasn't fucking Thornfall. What is this? <laughs> that is nothing. <laughs> that happens too much in BBS ran. I just get trolled. Very BBS core. Nothing. Hey, that- whoa, that's a shadow. I, I- I beamed that guy and I was like, wait a minute. This isn't- this isn't my other, uh, randos where those are just normal dudes. Yeah, shadows here. I bet with this keyblade you could fly with it because of, uh... I should try taking off Air Slide and Guard just to see if I can do Aqua Shenanigans with their form changes. Maybe we could find a new version of, um... New version of... The Fever Pitch thing. Fever Pitch Flying. Oh, this time swaster must be leveling up. That was a lot of extensions. Oh yeah, Dark and Darker is out. I heard about that. Actually, they found like some weird bum fucking launcher company to like platform their game. Who is like? It's not Steam. It's like some completely unknown like thing company or whatever. What do they have? Did I get to the backwards? I missed a bunch of chests. Here we go. That's a lot of these dudes. A lot of money. I've been getting a shitload of money. Chaff Games? Yeah, literally, who the fuck is that? Chaff Games? Oh, here we go. Chaff games, like what? Who? Also, that ice brush chest was like actually vanilla. That stop guy definitely was not. That's a very nice to have, I guess. You got this is actually like a stop seed between time splicer and stop. Yeah. Yeah, chaff games. Literally, who? I mean, good for good for dark and darker finally getting platforms. That's a good ass game. They had overcooked two. 
Literally, what the fuck is overcooked? The questions get deeper. What are we talking about here? Oh yeah, I forgot that Goth Aqua has the lower back thing. The the original design. It goes down to the dungeon. I'm not trying to go back down there. If you're wondering what the uh, the current prediction on screen is, that is a Quake 3 bot match between two of the stream's um, mascots, so to speak, Bones and Orb. They will be dueling each other a 10 minute 1v1. About halfway into the stream when I take a break. I might do it more often depending on if you, how much you guys like, uh, I, I, actually fuck you, I'll do it however much as I want to. It's gonna be very fun, go, cool, exciting way to make it, to have a break and also do a bet. Big bet. That's what that is. I spent a bunch of time this morning setting it up and making sure that the two bots would be like, they have the exact same like AI and tendencies, so it's like evened out more or less. <laughs> that guy came out swinging. They're set to the maximum difficulty, but I tweaked some of their accuracy so that they wouldn't, like, go insane with some specific guns, like the sniper. Railgun. Because, you know, bots with, like, 100% accuracy for a sniper. One of them will get it and then kill the other one repeatedly, so they're set to not have that because it just goes too hard. It becomes one-sided if one of them gets it, so it's disabled. Railgun. I made it so that the bots don't like to use it at all. But otherwise, the bots have the exact same stats, so it's like it's all down to uh, their personalities. Which are evenly matched. Yeah, Dark and Darker is, uh, if you've ever seen, like, Tarkov. An Exus with the Prime Gaming Sub, thank you. Have you ever heard of an extraction game? It's like that, but with, uh, you know, just like fantasy classes and, you know, swords and shit instead of guns. I really liked Birth Best, but I don't understand the hate for it. Oh, uh, well, I'll explain it to you in brief. Uh, the game sucks to play. It's made badly. Yeah. I enjoy playing it despite that. Uh, let's not die when like one dude's okay. Yeah, I have a I have a love hate relationship with this game it, because you know it's kind of like the fundamental of my YouTube channel, just like fucking around with this game and defying the odds. All the things that this game explicitly tries to not let you do, but I did anyways. Who is he swinging at? What is he doing? Oh, Axe. Oh, there's a dude right there. There's a dude right there! Oh, I'm dying. Observe with the 27 months, thank you. Hop on Dead by Daylight right now. I don't even have that installed. 
o ne da? I almost just died. Dude, don't kill me, please. Okay. Go. Gotcha. Go. Gotcha. Here. Ah. I better not be any enemies up here, or else I'll shit my phone. Okay, they're clear. Dude, stop, guys. Wow. And a fleeting. Okay. Oh! I... I thought I... Yeah, I, th I saw the enemies and I thought I'd be safe to roll back. I was not. Sheesh. The, those enemies just have a hitbox on spawn. Can I just like sequence break this by like getting up there? No, you're not allowed to because there's an invisible wall. Right. Forgot. Press triangle. Fuck. Stop that. There you go. I need to get. Where does Aqua get uh, Blade Charge? I should have done whatever the world that is like right away. It's not Hollow Bastion, is it? Oh, what the hell? Rude. I think I came all the way down here for that. Radiant Garden? Okay, yeah, that's uh, next on the agenda for sure. What? There we go. I don't have any cures or renewal block right now. Oh, you do your thing. That was a dude. Oops. Oops. At least when you're not in a gimmick battle, you can de-link and then just cancel it in order to get health back. I think there are potions in this store, but I only resort to those if I don't get cured soon in some way or another. Why are there so many enemies? Jesus. Kill them. What is happening? Why are there so many enemies down here? Jesus. Get over with. That's not the square button. What? They keep spawning? Why? I didn't know they did that. Oh my god, I'm failing the easiest minigame sequence ever. I didn't know they did that. I thought it was just like... Okay. I didn't know this was an infinite spawning area if you don't do it in time. Jesus. How annoying. Okay, please. Square button. Thank you. Don't run into that guy. Whatever you do. Oh, 
I was certain that the if there was going to be any enemies in that other room towards the end, it would have been, you know, in the big circular arena with the two chests. But the fact that it wasn't, it was by the other one chest in that smaller area, I was like, no way. I couldn't believe it that they put enemies there. Oh my god. Dude. Why do they do that? They just come out swinging. Now one hit. Nobody drops. Why does everybody drop money this seed? Everything is like drop money exclusively. I have so much fucking money. I'm dying though. Please. I almost died. Bella is tiptoeing. Stimulus package. Oh my god. Alright, can we uh, do the thing now? Please? No? No? Oh my god, he just saved my life. You are shitting me! What? Landmines, dude. There's so many enemies that spawn here. I don't understand why. Maybe it's randomized and it makes it harder to like actually do this sequence. And they just like kept they keep adding extra waves. I guess I don't know. That's what was happening earlier, for sure. But <laughs> I guess this happens when you don't press the right button during surprise one. I need to fix my finisher command situation right now. I should put on some of the like that those stop goods. I guess would be nice to have on, but maybe that's what's the problem is I'm stopping the enemies and that's letting the extra wave spawn. Yeah, money and EXP carries over between attempts at least, so it's not unproductive. Thank God. At least it's kind of like inadvertently grinding, which is great because you need that in DBS. An upside to the retry button being like completely hacked into the game by the devs. I guess I don't need to kill those guys every time. I can just run for that. I don't know why I was just killing them every time. Let me just get as many enemies as possible into every magnet. By thunder, this would be so much faster. Oh, that just do that. Okay. That lock on Jesus. At least I'm getting hella, hella money. I'm gonna have so much money after this. Because of all the retries. Three retries. I even anticipated. Asshole enemy. Oh, yeah, look at how I have the chest started because of the retry. The retry button just like resets the area without like loading your state back. So you have all the, uh, every potion you've used will still be used. Every kill you've gotten will still be experience that you have. Money and whatnot. Chests open already. Because they didn't make the retry button work properly, but it's kind of nice at times. Ice barrage will be nice once I have, uh, you know, blade charge. Do I use that now? It'd be nice against the boss. Sure, why not? If you finish the seed fast enough, we stream DVD. If I finish the seed fast enough, I'm 
gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a nice snooze, cause I've been awake for about, um... 22 hours. Yeah, 22 hours. Hey, Stormfall! Okay, now I'm actually pogging. Even though the stats are barely any better, but you know, BBS moment. Just like KH2, KH2 with this tiny marginal stat boosts. Unless it's like the end game. Oh boy, here we go. Two of them even. This is huge. Alright. EXP acquired. No complete. Yeah, I mean, the keyboards of ability set is way more valuable than stats, at least. BBS has like cage 2 style um, stat growth, except for the uh, the super boss keyblades and fucking chaos ripper. Local cow sleepy, but here for Goth Bay and Sham, I guess. Don't all drive with the 34 months, thank you. Yeah, we are. Yeah, Chaos Ripper is cool, because it's like the only Keyblade post-KH1 that can have negative stats. And it's crazy for it to be, like, magic, of all things. But 10 strength, double digit, is really fucking cool. Like, it's KH1, you know, double digit stats. Has, you don't get that unless it's KH1, BBS, with that one Keyblade, or three. With upgrades. If I time splash them, they'll die without splitting, because ailment. Hey, look at that. Alright, what's the ability? Give me the damn thing. Okay. Protect? Uh... Okay, so that's attack boost and, like, defense boost or some shit. This doink-ass finisher. It's cool, but it, like, whiffs so much. Ow. Bro, I'm gonna die. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I bet this enemy, I hope this enemy is just going to be here the rest of the seed. They should be, I don't think they would change. Oh my god, this enemy! These enemies do this thing where they, they're they like the most extreme about being a BBS enemy where they just like are stoned for a minute straight and then they hit you just randomly. This enemy is like the most egregious about doing nothing until they do everything. All at once, everywhere. I gotta do that all again. I'll split apart the enemies faster this time, I think. I also kill the, the little dude so I don't lose all my health right away. I just need to get that. I guess I don't really need to get the extra Ventus level up again. The ability kind of sucks. Dude, look at the damage I took. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I know how to do it, but I've never done it. And I know what to be worried about in Riku, in particular. I yeah, think for contributing. Go damn guy with three months. These guys are destroying me. I just want my stimmy. I guess I can shot lock to more safely split them apart. Especially rough when there are two of them, and you get like all the many of them splitting apart, and then they're increasing the chances it'll get hit because they're all just kind of there, rolling their attacks eventually. I have no cure. Okay, that was pretty good. Look at how many dudes just spawned. It's 
bird? Okay. He could have chosen to hit me just annoyingly, but he did not, thank god. I wish I had both victory poses on to like really prank these out, but oh well. These birds! Speaking of enemies that are stoned and don't do anything until they do everything, look at this shit, dude. Get them out of here, asshole. Hate the birds. Alright, cancel. The birds? Okay. The birds? I think it's actually really good. I can stand up. This is the best blob mob spawn because you can just stand up here and call them as uh, the birds. Bro, why are you not dying? The birds? Oh. You know what? Dickhead? Alright. I think the birds are gone. We're good. It's like the best possible place for these guys to show up because you can just stand up here and be safe and wait. You have to do it one at a time for victory pose to actually, like, do what you want. It's only the last enemy, not like all the enemies you killed. Only the last one. So it would be a waste if I just killed them all. Right away. I got impatient there. Who cares? I'm already getting so much. And ideally, you want to have EXP chance to multiply it by times two. So it's like times eight. There's, a, there's two more of them. I'm just going to kill these really fast speed rounds. I really should be uh, room saving, but who cares? I'm just going to go the big guns. Psh. Ow. Let's go. That's what I meant by them. If you kill them with an ailment on them, then they won't split apart. Okay, yeah, that was predictable enough. I think I got, like, all my growth abilities level 4. Dothaku got me kinda fucked up by N NGL. How's it going with you, bro? I'm good. Fixing my sleep schedule by streaming right now, so early. But, uh, you know, enjoying BBS Rando with this mod. That is not Magnet 3. What the hell? That's the worst magnet in the game. What the fuck? Hold on. Ain't Goth Aqua just a more black color palette? Look, we got the smartest sham fan up in here. Brilliant deduction. Smartest sham fan coming through. How do I soft reset? I need to load back that magnet I just lost. It's like a... Do you like press all of them? There we go. Speaking of extremely smart sham fans, I got a comment on the recoded video. Of a guy asking, hey, uh, by chance, uh, do you mind, uh, listing all the commands you used? In this video? Hmm, I wonder if there's a display somewhere on the screen where you can see them all being used in real time. I also had somebody in the, uh, the Goofy VOD saying, Oh yeah, the, um, a cool video, but the music that you added went on too long. P.S. Not the vanilla music. Because, you know, I used the SMT music mod in that video. Yeah, the, the, the vanilla music was fine. It didn't go on for too long. What does that even, what does that even mean? It, of course it's going to go on for too long. It's part of the game. The game is going on. I don't know. YouTube Sheesh. comments. I'm, I'm immune to them. 
But it hits a little different when you're in a live stream. Okay. A lot of lenient bosses today, which is nice. A nice uh, refresher from last stream where everything was a nightmare. And we still have Xehanort to deal with. Shredded. I think we'll do the bot match in about 20 minutes, just because it'll be the two hour mark of the stream. The stream will probably only take like four hours, four and a half. I wonder if I can kill Xehanort now. I'll, I'll, once I get a couple better abilities, I'll try it. Okay, we gotta go here for blade charge. I don't care that it's level eight. Fire! I need to kill these guys. Every time I see these guys, I'm killing them because they can drop fleetings. Oh, I just remembered. Well, battle level 8, by the way. Uh, by 8, that means 8 stars. Oh my god. No. So this is what happens when you come uh, here, when you're uh, underleveled, I guess. Oh, this is gonna actually have to leave because this is gonna make the, uh, the 6... Boss showdown impossible. Look at this. I have to cancel this visit. Unless I put on zero EXP, but I don't want to do that. I don't have to do that today. I'll do it. That's just damage? That's so toxic. I'm just gonna get the chest and dip because I already landed here. I already did the damage. Hey, I well, got a fleeting crystal for my troubles. Get me out of here. No, 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 no. Okay. Magnet spiral. That's some goofball rechain of memory shit. Let's use it. Okay, uh, well... Why is never on level 12? Why is this world getting scaled? Power scaled? It is not... earning that. Jesus Christ. Why does it do that? Wow! What a great big giant bat! Charlabun, thank you for the raid. Or gaming. I guess I can land here and see what the chests are. Whatever the hell this is. Cure? Okay, well, that's great. Okay. Finally. Cure. Okay. Peter Pan grows stronger. Oh, at least it's not Terra's, uh, Terra's route where you actually have to fight him. Now that would be an issue. Master's Defender! How fitting! What the hell? In this world? Okay, cool. How fitting, actually, what the hell. Okay, now I have Shroom because I have Aerosite level 4 and I can do this. Uh, 
That's very cool. Oh yeah, these two. Tweedledee and Tweedledickhead, that's what these chests are named. Another magnet spiral for whatever that's worth. Yeah, occasionally you could never, by the way. Give you Master's Defender. Show it in a trailer in 2013 and not let you use it in-game. Cool. Dripless. Boneless game. No gas. No juice in the tank. Nothing. Let's go here. I need to do something I can do. Hey, Thunder, that's also very good for my magnet. I want to use Magnet Spiral for fun, but uh, yeah, I'll use it for fun for now. I have to keep Victor Pose on. I'll get a new deck slot and I'll put on Thunder. Neo Genesis with a new Prime Gaming sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the new subscribers recently. Oh, I should check my, uh, wow. I guess I can sell a Magnet Spiral for big money, however much that's gonna be. I already have big money. I don't need to sell things. I'm Aqua. I'm rich. You know how Ventus can do whatever the fuck you want? Aqua's motto is that she's rich, she can buy whatever she wants. Including another Kira. Sure. Alright, let's go. Cool. Goth Aqua in particular has a lot of a lot of Twitch subscribers. I can understand why. I have to start up on that, Jesus. Everything's dropping money. I don't know why. I guess it's just the enemies in particular that are dying. This command is nice, I can press triangle and then like grab my drink. It's like all the uh, yeah, <laughs> finished commands in case, so you just like put down the controller, grab a drink, have a sip. What? I need to change my finish command. Don't hop on Dead by Daylight. <laughs> uh, let me guess, the game is toxic as always. You know what my Dead by Daylight was when I was growing up was uh, Spies vs. Mercs for um, Splinter Cell Double Agent specifically was the one that I played. Spies vs. Mercs was in like all of them, but the one that I had was a uh, Double Agent. It's got a, it's, it's the same idea except it's three v three. Monthly Freddy game? That doesn't sound good. Maybe one day I'll get a lobby for uh, 3v3 spies versus mercs. You don't even need, you can do it 2v2 as well. But the PC board double issue kind of sucks, so maybe that would be an issue. So many ice brushes, what the hell? People weren't the most fond of Double Agents specific version of um, Spies vs. Mercs because it was kind of dumbed down and it was more about mobility than it was like, you know, gadgets. Because Spies vs. Mercs was like first person shooters versus, you know, Splinter Cells in third person, which was neat. But when it comes to like spy gameplay and, um, Double agents, more about like running around and like being agile. The vanilla fish and frog at chest. So that's another really good chest that was just vanilla. It's really good. Get this dumb magnet out of here. There you go. 
Also, there was a, um, nobody knew about it because it was the old gen original Xbox and PS2 version of the game, but Double Agent version 2 had, uh, Spies vs. Spies. It also had a co-op single player, like the one in Chaos Theory, which is also really neat. Like, everybody always is like, oh yeah, Chaos Theory is cool co-op. Well, Double Agent version 2 has the exact same thing. Looks like a, looks like a sequel. More money, Jesus. Oops. Oh my god, this enemy! Fire. Landmines, dude. Jesus. Oh. Not nuclear option. Hate these enemies. I've never played Zelda, so I definitely have not done Zelda Rando. Ooh, these enemies. Here we go. Interesting thing about BBS Rando is that it's the only Rando where you actually end up just killing every enemy in every room because you kind of have to, for one reason or another. Mostly just the insanely harsh EXP curve for if you don't do that. If you're not using zero EXP, that is, which I'm trying not to use for these for fun. What does your exp EXP do in this game? It, it's like, it's really weird when you turn it on, because it's almost as if, like, it enables a mode in the game where level ups don't matter and you just deal a fixed amount of damage. It's really good, but it's overly buffed for certain kind of moves, like things that deal tech-based damage and multi-hits, like low damage multi-hits get buffed into absurdity. To the point where playing as Aqua on level 1 crit is easier and faster than the normal game, leveling up. If you use stuff like Spellweaver's Finish and, like, Ignite. I have Cure. Why am I just running around dying? I can Cure. I get so used to not having basic things, I forget I even have them when I get them. It's like, hey, each one of them, I'm not dodge rolling after three hours of not having dodge roll, but then I get dodge roll and I don't use it. I'm dead. room say that enemy dude Fuck. asshole yeah it's also the heart and core of why sword bill level one does what it's does what it does break time so many stimmies to sell yeah the wikis it's weird that they don't list zero exp properties for one in bbs um, as far as I'm aware, those are the only Zero EXPs that have hidden properties. Hook! Okay. Interesting place from this is like 0 0.2, almost. Oh, that ignites him. Nice. Vision Fraga. He's gonna kill me if I do one more extension. I don't. I do have guard. I'm not tempted. Asshole. Phantom hook. Phantom zodiac hook. Mind you. He's getting. Whoa. Stunlocked by fire. Oh, my, oh, Jesus. Oh, he got stopped? I didn't know that could happen to him. Oh, 
The timing? I didn't think I would kill him, I just kind of pressed that for fun. Flexed on, what the hell? Oh, speaking of, um, Chaos Jack Garland, I saw the, uh, there's a mod somebody made for, um, the PC version of that game called Critical Mode. I am, my throat is dying today. <clears throat> it's called Critical Mode because it starts you off with, like, a certain set of abilities and shit that you'd have to grind for, but it just starts you off with it on a fresh save. And if I ever, that might give me an excuse to replay that game eventually, or at least restream it. Not anytime soon, but like if I do on a fresh save, then I would use that because it's meant to give you stuff that's like gate kept behind kind of a shitty grinding process. I missed a bunch of chests here, but it's fine. It's not like it's a proof seat or anything. Why is Neverland getting so buff, dude? That doesn't make any sense. Oh my. 17. Is that strong enough for Radiant Garden? 10? Oh, I cannot go there. Why is it getting scaled up like this? When 16. Uh, I decided to shelf 16 indefinitely because, um. Too long, not enough interest. Quite frankly, I am more interested in doing stuff like what I'm doing right now. You know, Disney Town. Yeah, I always have the um, blob mobs. I'll probably do blob mobs after this. Just power level for a little bit on blob mobs. Kind of have to. It'd be really cool if uh, I could actually, you know, get some ice cream. All the stupid uh, ice cream enemies always drop you the ones that don't match up to an actual ice cream recipe. Oh, it's Fruit Ball. Shit, Aqua has to deal with the worst version of this world. Oh, can I get the chests? Do I actually have to do this? I just want to get the chests. Yeah, okay, I can just leave. Good. No, I'm not hating 16. I'm just, uh... All the people in chat are talking about 16. But the thing, the thing about 16 is that it seems really easy. The control scheme... just fucked with me too much. And it also seems really long, and I'm not trying to stream anything that's really long right now after Nocturne and DMC. So if I ever do get up, and if I ever do try that game, it'll be way later, if at all. Eternal of the Gifted Sub, thank you. I don't know, just not interested in doing something that long. At first I was keen on it, but things just panned out differently. Oh, I have high jump, I should put that on, don't I? Thank god. Randomize your opponents in fruit ball. That'd be fucked up. I don't think that game would support that though. That's a lot of potential enemies to drop uh, fleeting, so which I should look into synthing. I think I have enough stuff to synth a little bit with. I have a lot of fleetings. I don't need zero Gravira, so I'll just like do this. Reload boost? I have that already. Let me die real quick. I'm gonna just have to die in this game, dude. I need a little bit more commands. More things I can combine. Hey, a new slot.
I can get Kiraga if I level these up and combine them. Uh, I'll sit on there for now. Deep freeze, what the hell? I don't have Thunderstorm, do I? I don't think I do. Oh, here we go. I'm surprised that was enough, Jesus. How is that a bonk? Come on, game. Video game. Bro, why am I not allowed to even open up the chest? Off the camera. Trendy, okay, that'll sell for a decent bit on it. Oh no. I'm thinking it's about time for that uh, midstream break, actually. Let me get through just the chests I'm gonna get here, and then I will uh, we'll get that going for the bet. So many stop goes. What's going on? It's like a ghost drive or see what's going on. The game's trying to tell me something, huh? I wonder what that would be. Mumble Blaster. I just fell out. I fell out? You can do that? I'm dying? In real life? What? What? There you go. Jesus. Okay. I'll get him. That'll do it. Should that be open? It is open. Probably already has been. Another shitty rain fell. This was my third copy of that keyblade. Alright, one more chest in this hell area, and then I can leave. I have two more, actually. Forgot about this one. A little rascal. A little rascal. Oh. Why did... Of all the games to have... Like a... You're inside of a pinball... Pachinko machine... No, it's just pinball. Vertical pinball. This is like the worst possible game in the franchise to have this in it because of the physics, dude. What were they thinking? Okay. So many Zero Graviras and stops. I'm getting the same three commands at this point. It feels like it's really weird. Okay, get me out of there, Jesus. A little uh, wellspring. Hell world? Okay. I need to take the midstream break. This is a good time to boot up the, um... The duel. Match Race 1 with the Prime Gaming sub. Thank you very much. A lot of new Prime Gaming subs today. Thank you very much, everybody, for using that on me. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, I need to take a midstream break. We are going to... I'm going to... I'll be gone for like five to seven minutes, but then I'll be back for the last couple minutes of the duel. 
so I can cash out the bet and watch the winner. But I have a very exciting new segment just for breaks like this where we get Bones versus Orb. Who is that? You'll see in a minute here. Let me just get it all set up before I uh, switch over to the screen. I basically got my own uh, Quake Live server so that I can have bot matches and all sorts of shit. I just need to boot up the server. Quake break, yeah, it rhymes. Quick break, quake break. Okay, hold on. I think this is all ready. Bones versus Orb. Get excited. Oh, we, we'll be back at it with more Kingdom Hearts in like 10 minutes. I just need to take a midstream break. Alright, I'll leave you with this. I'll be right back. Are there rewards working on this screen? Yeah, they are, right. Thank you for confirming. Okay, I'll be right back.
I'm back. Yeah, so this is actually a, um, a map that was ported from one of the PS2, Xbox, uh, 007 games, H Under Fire. The multiplayer map that was in the Quake engine that was ported over to this. With the music and everything. Yeah, so this is the... This is one of the new break screens. Holy shit, Orb with the comeback, actually. Hold on. It's anyone's game right now. Four minutes left. Double kill again. That's all that happened earlier. This is anyone's game right now. Things can happen very quickly in uh, Quake. Especially, you know, when it's two bots with equal skill going against each other. More or less. Equal skill. They don't always know where each other are, but they can hear each other, so that's why, like, when you see them looking at each other through the walls, they're either, like, tracking their last known position or hearing them. And another fun fact about the bots in this game is that, um, they are programmed to work on any custom map made because they can see and pathfind on the fly. This map was not made for these bots, so these bots were made in the year 1999. This is a map for a different game, but they just work more or less just like out the box on any map less than two minutes remaining orb is up to three uh oh Damn, he just like phased through that rocket. It looked like it was gonna hit him from first person. It like went right past him. Oh shit, the direct rocket? Okay, Bones. If they tie, if it ties, it goes into overtime. Two minutes gets added for every overtime. Someone has to win eventually. I don't mind extending my breaks, that's for sure. Oh shit, Orb is solidifying his lead. Bones is not making a lot happen with the grenade launcher right now. 
Though he has the high ground. Ooh, that's a direct rocket to seal the deal. Ten seconds. This is all but confirmed for Orb right now. Orb takes his first to win. Orb wins. Take a look at the stats before we uh, close out here. Yeah, Orb did a thousand more points of damage and he was more accurate by about like 3%. Well, that concludes our first ever Quake Break. What do you guys think of that? Oh yeah, I gotta pay out. I gotta pay out for the Orb believers. Orb was not favored to win. Somebody bet big on Bones. They're not gonna be pleased. Okay. I guess we could do another one at the end of the stream. I'll uh, I'll start another um, I'll start another bet, and then at the end of the stream, I'll uh, I'll run another one before we go. All right, or believers, you got your first big payout. Look at that spread of winners and losers. I like how you can see that with the overlay. Yeah. <laughs> Lost 250k and Dream Shield have been there. Goddamn. Keyblade bets were feral, weren't they? All right, yeah, that was fun. I'll um, I'll get another one of those set up, and we'll do another bet at the end of the stream. Stimulus package. Yeah, that's fun. I uh, I'm glad you guys like that. Here, I'll run it back. Do another match before we end stream, whenever that is. Alright, place your bet for later. We'll do a run back on a different map. Alright. We are back. Um, what's it gonna be? We got some weird shit going on with Neverland and uh, Hollow Bastion. I think I wanna do... I wanna take on Radiant Garden, but it's combat level 11. It's like end game level 30. Let me see how much I can get out of grinding in, uh, you know, Enchanted Dominion real quick. With the insane Bob Bob spawns that we have going on here. Between commands and whatnot, this will be good. I'll put on two uh, victory poses. These commands should be good for clearing. Yeah, everyone is breaking the cap. I don't know why. I don't understand. It shouldn't be doing that. It should be going. Every world should be going up by one, and not like some of them going up by five when you beat worlds. It's kind of weird. But you know, this shit was just a like half-developed mod from a year ago, anyway. So you know. to be expected in some of the months. I'm not getting bob bomb spawns. The bob bombs are gone. They're not here anymore. I did not know that this game did that. Okay, well, let me see what happens when I come through the other door. <laughs> you better give my boy Orb a chance. Hey, that's on him. If he wants to win a second game in a row, that's up to him. Yeah, no Bob Mobs anymore. God damn it. That's fucked up. Okay, well, I guess I kind of have to tank things being really high level for a bit here. Uh, this, the real question is, what's the wisest thing to do when it's like this? I don't have all the treasures in this world, but this is new, like, as if I haven't been here. 
Alright, I haven't finished this world. Uh You're right. Let me see what happens when I try to win. I don't have a good deck right now because two of them are just victory poses, but I'll deal with that later. This guy is going crazy right now. You can kind of stun lock him to death. If you're safe, you can just kind of win. I'm pretty sure Ventus deck ult 2 is supposed to have, whoa, it's supposed to have Cura in it. I don't know, the deck isn't like leveling up like it's supposed to be. Cure, cure. Oh, the, nice, the Keyblades are getting stuck on the terrain so they don't fuck with me. Thank god, I hate those Keyblades. Yeah, I can win as long as I'm safe. Oh, here come the Keyblades. They're not stuck this time. Oh. Oh. I think I have a second chance. I just fucked that big time just there. Ow. Some of the shit that just comes out of the wall in this fight can be scary. It's like the only problem with this fight. In terms of surviving. Oh, that's a bad fight. Also, you have to deal with the fact that Vanitas is here in the normal game. Oh my, see? Yeah. You gotta be careful. He's a little trickster. I know I had the second level. I guess I mean level one, not level two. Uh, there's level two and there's three. I call it level... One because it's one star. I don't know. I can just imp I can infinite him. Look, the meter is like deferred. Hold on. Animation canceling mod is really letting me just do this forever without the meter overflowing. I don't need to finish that. I shouldn't have let him do that. Yeah, damn it. Whoa. Ice tracers? Okay. Oh. Please hit. Okay, that is massive damage if it all hits properly. And it did. Thank god. I just realized, because of the way I disconnected from the Quake server, they're still fighting right now. I'll have to reset that later. Bone, uh, Bones and Orb are actually fighting right now on the server as we speak, because I actually I just left them do their thing. They're just fighting forever. But are they actually? Because nobody can perceive them. Try 
after he falling into the forest? Kill? Oh, I teleport away. I hate this guy. I guess I can just shot lock him for the kill. You know, I was actually kind of surprised that Bones lost that because when I was testing and making sure that everything was balanced enough, it was actually like Bones that was just winning, just back to back to back, by oh, just man. various circumstances, making him just come out on top every time somehow. So I was actually a little surprised. And I want to replay SMT4. That never word always reminds me. Alright, so there's real there's no real objective in these seeds other than just kinda do all the worlds and have fun. So we are doing pretty good on that. I guess I don't need to do Disney Town. I'm not trying to play Fruit Ball, so that's just gonna remain unfinished, because who cares? I got the chests and I will try to take on Neverland though. I wanna see why it's getting power scaled to oblivion. I also... let's do Olympus and then I want to see what's in Mysterious Tower. Any cage game time comes close to DMC. Not necessarily in terms of quality, but recoded as a lot of interesting features that are similar to DMC, like having a really fast pace and having Bloody Palace. It's really goofy. But DMC is just a different kind of action game. Not necessarily better or worse. Oh, I mean it's better, but for expressiveness, not necessarily for game balance. Oh, my deck sucks right now. I just realized I don't have like magnets and stuff. It's all like fire base. These are all fire enemies. 1k away from 700k. Hell yeah. Get your uh, your orb payout though, right? Decent levels. I just wish those blob mobs uh, would have stayed. They're sitting ducks. Perfectly lined up for the firestorm. Nice. I just need my magnets back. I should put it on a bigger map for next um, next uh, match. I should put it on a bigger, more methodical map because the map I put it on was much smaller and like they were constantly in contact with each other and I got up to like 20 kills. But I could put it on a map where it's gonna be like slower pace, more items, like DM6. I also have some maps with custom music. Yeah, this fight goes on for so long, it's gone. Oh. 
I, what was I doing that for? I forgot shadows are so lethal in this game. They're like mini Neo shadows, literally. Oops. Uh, let me press continue so I can make a better deck, actually. Hey, I have eight slots. Okay, here we go. That's more like it. Yeah, Rowdy Rumble, all day long. I know I could also do a little spiral, magnet spiral right here. Yeah, those shadows took that personally. I went crazy. All right, some wave clear now. Didn't I just land here? Why am I walking around? Don't you like land in this world and you immediately get in a fight? No, I'm just not in a fight anymore. Did I just sequence break? Hold on. Did the game put me in the wrong spot after pressing continue? I need to just skip the fight. Hold on. Ooh, speaking of good commands. Oh, that's not the best, but it's fun. Especially if you can cancel out of it for safety. Fire uh, deck is going pretty well for blade charge when I get that eventually. Ooh, yeah, I definitely sequence broke because now I'm locked in a box. <laughs> oh. When did I last save? There's no gummy anywhere button. Uh, sheesh. Send Corbin a gay baby jail. Yeah, this is him. Goth and everything. A little tear god button? No, I have a soft reset button, which is unfortunate because I have to load back. I wish I did though, but that actually wouldn't fix anything because I would just respawn in this locked room. Well, I have no choice. How they even happened? I don't know. I I died in the fight. Press continue to change my loadout, but then it put me in the room instead of back on the world map. I hope I don't have to refight Zayn or. I think I do because I was like right after leaving Disney Town. Oh fuck. Uh. I think that's all I did. Yeah, that's all I did. I guess I can do that later. It's not like I got much other than the extra deck slot. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just do this and not die. I stopped the enemy with 1 HP, bro. What am I doing? There you go. I had to push him into the magnet so they would unfreeze him. I almost just died again. I thought that was Firestorm. Oops. I wasted that. Why did I not hit him?
Big boy. That stop right such big. Oh, that stop guy. It's got such big range, Jesus. That went nuts. Ooh, don't mean. That was kind of nutty. I'll do it. Nice. I'll do it. Asshole. There. That's a lot of enemy spawns, Jesus. Forgot how many they throw at you there. It's kinda ridiculous. Is Frog a burst using any recipes or is it just kind of its own thing? The game is like, oh yeah, it's an uber command, even though it's kind of a liability. Alright, this is not going to break my game, right? Okay, yeah. It's normal now. Kind of bed mad. Good night. Have a good night, Ren. Hope you feel better. Fire dash. Yeah, dead by daylight moment. Dark Balls. Ow. Th this enemy is going straight to hell for existing. What's next on the agenda? Probably the Cage 1 level 1 playthrough. Stop going all. Bro. They're immune to Magnet, it seems. Yeah, average Dark Ball encounter. They're so bad here. They've always been bad, but they're especially bad here. No one's not in Cage 2. They had the right idea. Not putting them in Cage 2. I, actually, I would have loved these guys being Cage 2 so I could fucking shred them with Final Form. Jesus, I hate these guys. I didn't know that they were immune to Magnet like this. They just don't care half the time. And dealing if I need to, I guess. Oh, look at this bullshit, dude. What are you doing? It's a go so out of, so far out of your way to make them respawn in this. And look at the timer. The timer. Look at the time. Like he timed me out, asshole. They're not hard, they're just annoying. Especially when they show up in a rando and you're not, you know, level 50 in the secret episode. Alright, that's more like it. I don't know why that didn't happen the first time around. What the fuck? Yeah, that's especially bad in this game, that particular attack. They just like freak out and they hit you like four times from five miles away. Frog burst and fission for raging. Oh yeah, that is the recipe, isn't it? I gotta be leveling that up then. Jesus, that's the best command I could get because of the the exploit that I invented. 
I should know my own my own invention. If you need that, it's like the best shit in the game for Aqua. Okay. I invented that. I invented Nerd emoji, I invented that. I just, why am I not just spamming cartwheel to make them respawn? There we go. Much better. We're just one dude. That's much better. Yeah, these guys can stall you up by going underground, but it's fine because they're dead. They're, they're dead. It's over. These enemies, I just don't care about anything that's happening ever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Don't know what's going on, but okay. Yeah. You know what? Fun them. Three of them? Okay. Oh, well, this is actually. Oh, I have to kill them by doing this. I, they have to be ailmented or else I'm gonna lose. Oh, fuck. Uh. Stop the timer? Kill them? What? They're alive. Oh, I get it. The first... Okay. When they split apart, they counted as a different enemy. And now I don't think the game was very fond of that outcome because I think it just broke... <laughs> I don't think the game liked that very much. I'll just press the funny little button combo and we'll uh, go on with the day because I saved the vestibule. Oh, it's not like I need to do every world in BBS Rando. We just kind of do this for fun. So I, I will leave this world and do somewhere else. You know the deal? The good thing is I got a burst from this world and now I can burst. Garfield, you had burst. I'll go back and kill Xehanort once I get a bunch of levels, and I can do that way faster than earlier. I'm just glad I saved. Yo, there are some chests, there's like one or two chests out there that I can go grab. No, I got 100% nice. Why is it about level 15? That's like way higher than the cap by like 5, what the fuck? How does that work? What's going on? Fuck it, let's see what's here chests and the enemies might be good EXP or something, I don't know. Now this randomizer is only like half developed, so there's no like proof system. Oh boy. Poor Bowden. There's no proof system. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna play it. Beat it and have fun. And I'm fine with that. Because you know this is all about kind of the enemy randomization and chests more than anything else for me. These guys don't care. Oh my god, please stop bullying me. You don't even get anything for killing these guys. They're just roadblocks with, like, no defense. Alright, here we go. Here's a problem with this, though, is that... Enemies are not dropping scaled-up amounts of EXP. This is a level, like... Eight world, but they're dropping like level one EXP. It doesn't seem to work properly, and so that's a big liability. You should probably have the EXP multiplier on for that. Because it doesn't seem to be working properly for that. But oh well. Especially because those, uh, I got the rug pulled on me with those blob mops earlier. I don't know why they're gone now. Sucks. Unfortunate. What is this? Why is there no music? What's going on? This is spooky. Battle level a separate mod? It's a separate mod, but it's meant to be used with one of the two different randomizers that exist for this. At least I got those D-Links, especially Goofy D-Link with level 1 could save me from an MF type scenario. If need be. Oh look, Neverland is level 9 now? I'm- my voice is fucking dying. This is why you shouldn't ever be awake for 24 hours and then stream. 
My voice is dying. My throat is it's over. Okay, well, now things have scaled properly, which is nice. Okay. Seems like doing this fixed the uh, progression flags for the game. I don't know how any of that works. I guess I, I could go see what MF is. I think that's available. Whatever the boss is going to be there. Yeah, monster's always gonna help with that. Though I feel like it's like one hour after I end the stream, I'm just gonna like fall asleep. Which is good, because that's very much my desire. I guess I can sell uh, some shit, like trendy. I had so much money, wow. But like nothing to buy. Nothing of note. I seem to level up this Frogger Burst and then I'm in a uh, Raging Storm territory. This doesn't go anywhere. Why am I even allowed to land here? Does Aqua just get to go here? That's weird. Oh yeah, two different summits. Hold on. The real one. The action zone. Alright, what do we got? Hey, that's uh, Super Boss. All the same. This is an awful place to fight this guy because it's tiny. You kind of need a lot of space for this guy, but uh, you know what? Why is he double speed? What the fuck was that? That was not normal. I cannot beat this guy in these situations. He was just like running double speed there at the start. What the fuck? Huh? I really am too slow. I'm not beating this one, at least not for a while. What the double speed shot lock too, that's not normal. Also I have cure on, so if I do this then he's gonna do his cringe little heal. Oh. I'm off, I can just roll, what am I doing? Damn, I canceled the, like, the best, most punishable thing. That shot lock. This is a stupid attack. I should probably just die. He has a heal only if you heal. You have to use potions on this guy if you need help. I guess you can do this. Oh yeah, you can just do that. Yeah, that's not happening. Not that one. You have to bring potions because if you use heal or Asuna, which is really mean, um, you'll just counter heal. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of that. It's weird. Kind of evil. It's kind of neat though because it means that you have to, it's like the only time items are ever used. And it also means that um, you don't get Leaf Bracer, which is actually kind of neat. You know, I actually kind of like that fight. It's actually kind of a decent fight. When you're not using like the, sh the commands to just like kill him for free. Let's go get Blade Charge. Now that this world is actually like scaled properly. I don't. I don't, I don't use elixirs. I think what you want to use is high potions, or just settling for standard potions. It's kind of like a balance between the two because high potions you'll get most of your health back, if not all of it, but you don't get to carry as many. But standard potions you get like five per slot. So it's kind of like pr personal preference what item you want to use. It's weird. Neat fight. Okay. I'm supposed to go up the stairs. Why does the same save game sound the treasure sound effect? That's actually the sale sound effect, but yeah, that is a... Well, actually, it might be the chest sound effect, too. Uh, this save menu did not exist until the Xbox port. This entire menu, the way that it looks right now, this was tacked onto the game in like 2020 for the Xbox and the PC port. If you play this game on PS4, you get like the PSP generic menu. Oh boy.
Look at how shitty this command is. All the fireballs just go straight into the ground. It's awesome. Great job, team. Cool, new, good command. Downgrade from Recom, where it actually like, went up in the air and rained down. Good shit. Devs. Half of the shit just hits the ground, there's nothing. On the ground. Nice. Yeah, something is weird about the uh, the randomizer in the sense that this is a battle level eight world, which is almost like end game in the standard game. But the EXP I'm getting is like level one, like battle level one world. So it's really not accommodating right now. I don't know why. I'm dead. You dead? I wonder what the final bosses are going to be. Aqua only has two to deal with. Brig and uh, final Ven Nidus. I think I'll also check out uh, Super Boss Ven Nidus. I'm not doing a um, final episode. There's just going to be one extra boss. I don't really feel like making the save data for that. I think there's going to be two. Actually, I might check that. We'll see how I feel once I get to the end screen. The report and all that. Pretty tired, pretty snoozy. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm Leon. I'm I'm the Leon sleeper. That was my most used emote last month outside of the channel. There's like a Twitch pop that was like, Congratulations, this is your most used emote. Are you guys like being toxic in other people's chats and hitting them with a sleeper? It's a good emote. It's probably one guy faced. One guy moment. I mean, like, no EXP. It's kind of fucked up. I might just have to put on zero EXP and say fuck it. Am I just... Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Project is gonna be getting the Raging Storm exploit in like a minute here. I don't have it because I don't have the command. That, okay, I don't have zero EXP. Never mind. I don't have the I don't have the uh, escape card. Uh oh. Reload boost. I already had whatever. Who cares? Oh, what is it, man? Yes, I have. Drug. Eternal with the gifted sub. Thank you. Yeah, I guess next stream will probably be uh, K1 level one. I don't know when that'll be, but it'll be soon. Oh, meteor showers actually goaded. I seen them leveled up. Yeah, I'll get through the stream. I've, I've already gotten to this point. A little snoozy, but, you know, I can clear this out. So what's keeping me awake is that I'm doing this right now. Over there. Which is a good thing. Because that's kind of the goal right now is to be awake for just a bit longer today. I'm also excited to do the, uh, the next um, round of Orb versus Bones. It's a really, I'm, I'm glad I got that all set up because it's a really fun uh, little way to do a break. 
Crawling Fire, that's another, um, that's a Mega Flare recipe, isn't it? I can get Mega Flare instead of, um, ooh, both are good. Both are actually really good. Mega Flare or, uh, I guess I can buy the other one. Alright, I'm supposed to go through that door for the, uh, let me just room save while I'm up here. Crawling Fire plus Vision Fraga is Mega Flare, but Vision Fraga plus Fraga Burst is Raging Storm. Raging Storm is really good against bosses because of the exploit, but Mega Flare is Mega Flare, so it's really good against everything else that isn't a boss. Alright, what's the spread? What's the damage? This is where I would want Raging Storm exploit against Munstro! Yeah, I've been here before. Venidus is in there. Oh, Wheelmaster. Iron and Prisoner 1. I could actually probably kill Iron and Prisoner 1 if not Monstro. Oh, there he is. And there's also T posing uh, Terranor over there. Okay, uh. Who's it gonna be? I'm gonna try killing um, Wheelmaster, actually. I'm dead. Yeah, Raging Storm would kill Monstro instantly, but I would need to grind for that. Let me see if I can do it without it. Just kind of navigate around Monstro. The first time I ever had this happen, Monstro is here, I think. Ow. That, oh my god, I got grabbed. Yo, that's either Pokemon or Pikmin. Oh, 03 with the right, thank you. Oh, the two. Fire. Fire. He Huge raid! Massive! Yeah. Thanks, so. Yeah. Regardless. the level up I needed, I think. Either four or five, I don't remember. Who's up? Oh, these dudes. He's like, who's alive right now? Who's aggroing me? Oh, yeah. Needs to be level five. Hold on. I probably do fire boost instead of, like, reload boost or anything. Like, or haste. Fire boost is just really good for Raging Storm exploit, especially. Okay, here we go. Let me just do this in a better room so I can die if I need to. I guess I can't do that there because there's like one dude spawned all the way down there forever. Because of the way that... That annoying enemy spawns just always, no matter how far away you are. Okay. I don't have any shimmering. Oh, I have one shimmering. Okay, it's usually the most common, but you know, there's a randomizer and all. Nothing is normal. I'm not killing. Favorite demon in SMT. I like Cheeky OG. Cheeky OE or whatever his name is. Oh yeah. He's cool. He voids Fizz despite being a paper dude. Alright, here we go. This will be a clean sweep as soon as Monstro reappears where he goes at the start of this. I hope I'm doing enough damage. You can still kind of be low for this. 
I didn't, didn't even hit monster. Nice. Okay, well, there's a lot going on right now. I can light grab, but there's an invisible wall. Oh. Didn't know that. Terra on Terra action over there. Oh. Yeah, if I lose my Raging Storm and that goes on cooldown, I just gotta die or reset or something. That's horrendous. Stick around and you'll see the um, the next Bones versus Orb duel. Orb is up one. He took the first game. Oh, I don't have once more. Whoa! Who knows, maybe Monstro isn't the target here, just because he seems to be so fickle. Like, he just doesn't stay in one place somehow, despite being the biggest enemy in the game. Biggest enemy in the franchise, maybe. There's death for there already. Nice. Ow. Yeah, okay, he'll strike. I don't want once more. I can't do shit. I can't really Raging Storm the Wheelmaster, because he'll get pissed and damage gate me. Maybe Vanitas if he behaves. Or Pan to get folded if I can get in there. Or I'm a prisoner. Yeah, hold on. If I don't die right here. Oh. This might be rough. The monster doesn't seem to stay still like he did the first time this happened. Which Vanitas is that? I think he's one of the basic ones. Most of them are little uh, basic Vanidae. Vanidae's Vanidae. I see pick the right time. Yeah, two health bars Vanidae's, that's like the first one. DBS Rhino doesn't scale up or down health bars. Or even defense for that matter for boss randomization, it's really weird. I'm gonna try to kill- oh, wow, I didn't mash hard enough. Yeah, it's like Peter Pan's like disappearing. Bro, Vinicius is a big issue because he just like gets up in your shit like immediately. Uh, there's a lot of landmines here. Okay, now or never? Maybe. Oh, wow, he is pissed. Vanitas really has it out for me right now. Taking out the arms and legs first. What, for a fucking wheelmaster? Actually, maybe. Maybe her patient. What does this do? Barrel? I just hit Peter Pan with that explosion. Oh my god. I'm dying. Ooh, Pan? Maybe? I think Pan just took a bunch of damage, but I uh, don't know. Not really. Fuck. I'm gonna kill Vanitas in the middle of this. You know what? I'm gonna do something unconventional. Vanitas is my target. I know his game plan. Even when he's inside of a whale. Intermittently. Now, if only I had more than one cure right now. 
Oh my god. Or renewal block for that matter. Jesus. Or leaf bracer. I don't have that right now either. Which would be great in this situation. The information is telling you that I think it will work. True. The developers know exactly what's right in every situation. Oh, pan? <laughs> now you're mine. Okay, pan somehow got owned in the middle of all that. I don't know how. He had 1 HP. It always comes back to pan. I broke Peter Pan's arms and legs as per the developer's recommendation. See that little slash there? That was uh, Peter Pan's uh, duodenum. Right, give me the fuck out of here, Jesus. I didn't even need that Raging Storm, but it'll be good for everything else, so... Well, you sure? What are these weirdo commands? Yeah. Aqua Flustered. Goth Aqua, for that matter. Badlands boss? Oh yeah, I'll check that out for this. Hey, double flight. Actually useful for once. Because I'm Aqua. I can actually use that. Oh, cool. Yeah, Peter Pan has been a menace. Don't know when I'll be coming back to this. It's kind of something that you have to play just once in every blue moon or else it'll get old. But he's definitely been the menace of this run. 2023 run of BBS Rando. Okay, this is Mega Flare. Good thing I didn't synth it because now I have it. Thank God. Just got it for free. Okay, let's go. Now I have both super duper commands. Alright, that's nice. Especially with the fire boost. What would anti-goth aqua look like? Probably a juggalo. Juggalo aqua. Alright, I have to fight Bray? No, I don't. I have to fight Vanitas here, and Vanitas as in anybody else. I should have Blade Charge, though. Shouldn't I? Yeah, you get it for the other, that other fight. Oh, it's Hook. Okay, I'll be disaster real quick with my new, my new whip. Especially because that Mega Flare can just get it immediately, almost. Enough. Or I'll just beam him with this, let's see what happens first. He's gonna parry it, isn't he? Oh. Yeah, he parries it. Well programmed game. He can just parry fire. Oh my god. Keep my meter up. Rough. Here we go. If any combo for some weird reason that I don't know. I think, for some reason, the better battle system just gives you infinite combo sometimes. If I dodge offset, will I get my finisher? Oh, my finisher. Oh, okay, that's... 
Okay, so if you just mash X in this form for some reason, you get infinite combos, but if you dodge offset, then you get the right thing. So you can do this. See, that would have been really cool if that didn't just get parried, because the finisher would have destroyed him. Here, I'll do that again. I like that finisher a lot. That form in general is just cracked. Who are you? <laughs> okay, the game didn't crash after doing that. So well. I like last time. As uh, uh, you cannot go through that door. All right. I guess I leave now? Yeah, I guess I just leave now. Anything new? Unison Rush. Ooh, okay, you know what? Down the hatch. As soon as okay, I can get renewal block. I just need another barrier, which I'm able to get, I thought. Yes, okay. Renewal block. Thank goodness. I needed that. Bro, renewal boost number five, dude. Whatever, I don't even know what the best meld is for that. I don't care. I actually could have gotten... Like, I should just do it right now. I can... I might be able to combine it with Kiraga for the one that gives you once more or something. Isn't there a recipe that gives you once more? With Kiraga and Barrier or something? This one I should actually be careful because, you know, one shot. I'm actually doing this right. Very much like to get once more. It is not once more. Hold on. What is the juice then? It's probably second chance, which I already have. I guess I'll try Leaf Bracer too. That one is good too. Bleeding for haste? I thought that there was something better though, one of the defensive ones. For that particular recipe. Like either second chance once more, or Leaf Bracer, one of those, the big three. Hope these enemies are too fucking stoned to function. How about uh, over here? Any better luck? Same enemies, but less nice. I didn't know you got second chance with Asuna. I thought it was Kiraga that you needed to get better uh, builders with. Yeah, these are BBS enemies, by the way. If you never stood and if you never stood around and looked at them, they suck unless they want to. Not suck, which is rare. Nice hitbox. Very normal BBS behavior. Well made enemies. I guess I'll just use a fleeting. Why not? We could use that haste. I just buy another Hiraga, who cares? One magic haste. It's very good though, I needed one of those, at least one. 
two cures just make it like that of one that should be good especially because I need pastes for mega flare especially all right now I can progress was your no berry do again it only uh, you know gives you health when you guard things perhaps literally the best ability perhaps ever in the franchise the only Kingdom Hearts game to have anything like it. It's actually so good. I feel like it'd be broken in any other Kingdom Hearts game, but in this game it's welcome because of how fucked this game is. So it's like, when it exists here, it's like, yeah, okay. Sure. Oh yeah, I still- let's- I can kill this guy with a... Blade Charge, how swell. Two fires for one smart- oh yeah, that's the classic. I don't know if it can buy fire, though. I just found one of them randomly. I'll check. That would be nice for the last uh, stretch of this run. Days renewal block. It's so shitty in that game, but yeah, I guess it exists. It's more like a, it has a chance of dropping the fucking one HP prize to your left sometimes when you block. It's so goofy. He's gonna teleport out of this, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, oh, I might just dodge I can do this. Oh. I tried to react. I wanted to like walk forward and guard something so I didn't have to cure, but... Well, block abilities are actually good in days. Round block, 360 guard, and any of the standard guard upgrades that just increase the amount of time that you can hold your guard up. Those are good, for obvious reasons. But especially uh, 360 guard, for obvious reasons. It's good. Infinite combo. Don't oh, really me though, I want to continue to use this. I guess for some reason the better bell system mod just kind of bugs out here and gives you an infinite combo. But if you want to do a full combo, you can just off, you can dodge offset it, and it's really cool that way. Oh. Like at any point. Are you not dead? Oh, here we go. Raging Storm with that fleet charge. What a cool finisher cam, Jesus. Oh yeah, Freeze Guard in Days was insane. Wasn't that a Keyblade ability though? That magic Keyblade you get for like the first 75% of the game? That's recoded? No, that's Days as well. I swear, I had the setup. But it's on a specific, I thought it was, I thought you needed ability units to put onto a magic Keyblade in order to get it like two or three ability units. There's a box that for every ailment. Okay, well, it must be that then. Combo freeze finisher? Maybe. You'll have to check the VOD. It's been two years, believe it or not. It has been almost two years since the day's playthrough. That was in September of 2021. Can you believe it? Just two years away. I'm so happy I have this information. Freeze block was the panel? Okay, cool. 
Yeah, that shit went nutty. Because freezing into fire did like five health bars of damage. And boss enemies in days had like eight. Mine's not bad. Pro mod, yeah, a lot, a lot of things on this stream went down in 2021. That's when I, you know, that was like the first year of streaming, so I did a bunch of creative shit just like right off the bat. That was in like October of 2021. I remember because it was during uh, the SMT4 marathon before Five came out. Photon charge. Interesting. It's kind of a decent one. Aurora. Hey, counter blast. What the hell? I actually get a counter attack after like three seeds of not having one? Alright. I was gonna blitz this world down. I think I don't really need anything other than the chests. Guys. Hey, I'm actually dealing good damage here. Alright. It's not level 15 anymore. That stopped bugging out, I guess. Whatever the hell is happening. I'm mad they didn't archive all my pro mod uh, streams, all like three of them. I have one of them up, like, archived though. Look back at it every now and then. I need to do more FPS stuff on this channel. I think what I'm going to do, I want to do 120 FPS streams again, because those are really cool to see if you have 120 FPS monitor. And I won't archive them on the stream archive, but I'll like highlight them and keep them on Twitch, because that's how you'll be able to see them at 120 anyways. And I can't really record at 120 while also streaming at 120, or else it's like too resource intensive and YouTube doesn't even care. It just uploads it at 60. Hey, there's a bomb. I need to take advantage of this. I've seen Time Splitters, I haven't played it, but it reminds me of um, the PS2 007 games in spirit, so it's, I think it's neat. Oh, I don't have my victory pose, I'll just kill them all, whatever. Damn, level up city, I didn't even... You know what? Fuck victory pose, I'm just gonna go for speed. After that, I'm just going for speed instead of, uh, you know, maximizing here. Uh. Yeah, I mean, Time Splitters was rare, so... Uh, rare as in the doves. That much I know. That's why it's so similar. Spiritual successor and all that. And just like Perfect Dark. Never really fucked with those games though. I think the best 007 game is not GoldenEye. I think it's overrated. The best 007 game is uh, Nightfire and or Age of Fire. They're both pretty good. For the same reasons. Ooh, the noise. Oh, I'm solid with a Terra main. I've always been. Shame is gonna play Tron 1. I don't think I'm gonna do that, actually. That sounds like very much something I'm not gonna do. I like playing games that are good. Ironic, I say that playing BBS, but you know, the, you know how things go around here. This mega player. Come on, let's go. The noise. 
Don't shoot me. Dumb boat. split apart more or less. I get to like level 30 and then I should be good to go. Ow. Yeah, I saw that Bob and Marsh Cyberpunk was actually coming out soon. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh, nowhere. It felt kind of out of nowhere. I guess I missed when the announcement was. It's like this month, isn't it? I might have to stream that. I don't know how good it'll be because Jess at Radio sucks. So, but I mean, it's a if it's a modern game that's supposed to kind of be like it, I'm sure it's guaranteed to be better than what Jess at Radio was in the 90s, so. I'll just kill him one more time and then go through. I should be buff enough. I think the times two EXP multiplier is something that I should definitely keep on in my seeds just because of how the battle level doesn't seem to scale EXP properly. I wouldn't have it would not have to be doing this right now if I had the times two EXP. But I'm glad I tried it without just so I can experiment for you know next time I feel like doing this whenever the next blue moon is. BBS moon. Oh more Bob Mob. Why not? I can't resist. Too far away? No, I'm good. Alright, I should be good to just go and beat the rest of the game now. I got those levels. Level 30 is good enough, I think. Most of this world is just platforming and then you fight Vanitas anyways. It's just glad I finally got a blob, a blob mob break. There's like a million good chests in this next room. At least in the vanilla game they're good. They're probably trash in this mod. Right, double flight. I have double flight early actually. Barrier surge is actually really bad. Barrier Surge doesn't have iframes like the other Surges, it has guard frames, which are not, uh... They do not protect you from everything. Unguard unblockables will eat your ass through a Barrier Surge, it's really funny. Obtain nothing. Thought I did all that. Let's go. That's like the seventh taunt command I've gotten in a chest today. It's really weird. What's going on? With these duplicates. Alright, who's the boss gonna be? Is it gonna be MF again in this fucking area? I don't know if I have the heart for that today. I 
SMT. Hey, it's the easy Zack. All right. What a pleasant surprise. 22 hours. 24 at this point, actually. I'm dead. I forgot this guy has that one attack that will always get you no matter what. I don't know how low that camera angle is because Venus is so short. I just got blade charge and it's over. He's on fire right now. I actually I could juggle him with raging storm. Hold on. Does that hit me? Okay, checks out. Yeah, easy, Zach. Just don't get uh don't get don't get bodied. Get out of here, Peter Pan. I'm not trying to see your dumbass right now. Ever. I think that just leaves. I guess we'll just do. We'll check on who the super boss is. Then I just lose the rest of the game. And I guess I'll also do a quick sweep through, um... I'm not gonna do secret episode, because there's too much bullshit you have to wade through in that, but I'll do final episode. Whoa! Okay! This is a good arena for this, actually. I just don't have the comfort defensive abilities, but I can combo the fuck out of this guy all day long. I just can't Raging Storm him. There's a waste of a slot. I wish I had like two more fire dashes. If I die, I'll put him on. The key to this fight is being hyper aggro and catching him off of weird opportunities that show up. I kinda, when I was fighting this guy on the PSP, the PSP streams where I literally just pointed a PSP at my webcam. I found out that if you're super aggro, then you can actually, like, create openings in this fight that shouldn't exist. This is a good place for time splice if I do catch those openings. Didn't I say I was going to level up my d links to seed? Uh, I guess uh, that kind of didn't happen. Oh, well. It's too much of a pain in the ass. The RNG drops are too annoying, and I missed two of them, like, apparently. Dealings. Also, I can walk away from his R solo with this mod, thank god. I'd be dead right now if it weren't for that, because I don't have once more. <laughs> This mod kind of fixes a lot of the a lot of the problems where it's like, oh yeah, you don't once more, you're dead. You lose immediately. So you got clipped by the first swing of this 70 nit combo. So thank God for this mod. That's an opportunity right there. Anyway, drop the combo. I don't know. Thought about canceling. My guard frames. Oh, guard. There you go. Anytime he does that slow shot lock, it's a big opening. It's really crazy. Oh, I can, I can just go really far away from these bitch-ass meteors. I can just leave. Let's see if they can track me from all the way over here. 
Oh, they're trying. Not quite. What is this, Cage 2? Dodging the Ultima Cannon in this fucking arena? What are we doing here? Kino? I don't have my next one. Ready to go. Oh no. I don't have once more. I forgot you can't roll cancel cure. They made it so that you can't do that. Thank you, Zandra. You just got me killed because you updated the mod. Marvel. <laughs> no, not me. You can actually, um. You forgot about group cure. If you have group cure, then you can roll out of it before the cure goes off and you can waste it on purpose. But you very much cannot mash out of cure like you can with every other command, that way you don't waste it by accident. That's what I did a lot when I first tried the mod, it was really funny. The damage. Gonna break. He's gonna be in Ghost Drive for sure, isn't it? Or is this kind of physical? I don't know. I like that gun's physical. Okay, cool. Good. Oh fuck! I whiffed. Oh, it didn't matter. He ate that shit. Don't do that. Oh, what am I? I keep forgetting I don't want once more. The game is so fundamentally different when you don't have it. Okay. I just threw so badly. Yeah, I've seen a uh, canceling ghost drive finisher just fall out of the arena forever. It's funny. Unless you somehow manage to get back into the form. Repeated boss fights? Uh, hook showed up twice today. Speaking of ghost guys. Oh, what the fuck? Why do I buy frames? Okay, never mind. I messed, the I messed up the combo there by doing the finisher of ghost drive. I shouldn't have done that. That way, I could have instead of doing the finisher, I could have gone into the times closer to do an extra set of combos on him there. Because the you know. Time to is literally just ghost drive as a command, which is funny. Okay. okay. I didn't think he was comboing there, I could have gotten it if I believed. Bro! I don't fuck with this attack. Don't die again for no reason. The biggest Osaka moment of all time is the fact that Ghost Drive's upgraded cartwheel is actually worse than level 4 cartwheel. Not to, you know, say the O word in 2023, but the fact that it has less iframes is really <laughs> embarrassing. Look at that, come on, man. Yeah. 
Ow. I did not. He just shot that at the wall and then got me through the wall. He's doing human being strats. He's doing like the Vanitas cheese on me in real life. Bro. Don't die for no reason. Okay. I should have gotten in there. I had the right idea. I had the right read, but I didn't believe. Bitch. I think this will be an upgrade to my keyboard. You always get a void gear here. We're doing that. Oh. Hooray! Downgrade to the magic bow, whatever. Aqua area is enough of that. Alright, yeah, let's go beat the game now. I've done everything I can do in this seed. I also do. I'll do final episode, but not secret, because I'm not trying to get through that world again. Realm of Darkness. But much. It's like, it's really not that long. I just don't want to do the platforming. Or the heartless fights, whatever they end up being replaced by, rather. I don't care. Cannot be bothered. We've got a, uh... Bones versus Orb match, and then I got some snooze and the catch up on. My duodenum is really pissed off that I'm awake right now. Take it that way, you will. I can feel it. This is a good deck too, fire dashes and time splits and mega flare. You can do anything. Yeah, Void Gear is good for the Goth Aqua skin actually. I didn't even think about that. It's like perfect. The color combo is perfect. What the hell? Nice. This is a cool ass keyblade. I wish it was in Cage 3. It should have been Cage 3 as a keyblade that intentionally puts you in an upgraded form of Rage Form. Like Rage Form, but you can use items and spells. They should have let you get it for that purpose. Are there any mods for that? There really should be. Yeah, Aqua Remnant, true. That's me. Not anymore, though. I'm back to blueberry armor form. That is a big problem. Hey, why am I shot in Aqua? Hold on, I could... That is a big problem. Hold on. This is a super duper boss. There's no escape. Uh, can I can I roll mesh this time? I have level four. Yeah. Well, that makes things a lot more manageable. I'm not terror or anything, so I can actually do this maybe. I'll have to get like potions out if it comes to that. Good song for this though. I was respected using this song here as a battle theme. Even if it's kinda of wasted on this game. I think the fact that the arena is really small is actually really good. Why am I not dead? Okay, there there it goes with how. The fact that this arena is really small is actually like a nerf to him. It feels like a good thing that he's like confined in a way. There's no escape. Why am I not jumping on that? See ya. Too slow. I the un unblockable little thing, my Bob. Hate that thing. It's always not good when you accidentally cancel that because it's like your best opportunity to attack. Why did I cure? Oops. Oh, 
I don't even have zero XP. I can't even just like put that on as an easy out. Uh oh, that's not what you want to see here. Maybe I can make it work though. Show me anguish. I knew he was gonna do it. Jump. The cameraman just got flashbanged. Well, let me go get some potions. I can do this. Maybe. Might have to go get levels. I don't know if I care to do all that, but... Let's see. Do I even have... Potions? In the store? I do! I know I should be like a million just so I don't have to press continue after like two attempts. Doesn't Counter Blast put you in Ghost Drive? That's actually so bad for Aqua, the way that they did that. I want to be in, um... I want to be in, a, uh, You know, Fire. Oh, yeah, Mines do it, too. Really bad. You could always disable the command style in the menu. Don't tell him. You can't fucking do that. <laughs> in this bum ass game where you're not allowed to do that. Because you can't do that. They didn't they didn't let you put it in the game. Smartest sham fan coming through. That'd be like such a reasonable thing for them to do, but they didn't because you know, they made a well made game right here. It's dealing so you can turn off, yeah, not not um form changes. Whatever the fuck they want to call them in this game. Hey, knock them out of that. See ya. There's no escape. Ooh, that's so bullshit. Wow. Peter Pan D Link? Um, that. Well, first of all, I don't have zero EXP, so I, I can't do it properly. Second of all, I don't think this guy. Actually, it's a shame I don't have zero EXP because I really uh, would like to test if it would actually work on this guy because normally. Actually, you can D Link in this fight, but he like. This guy does something about dealings or something where it just doesn't. Well, I'll try it. I, I don't think I've ever tried it. And is Peter Pan gonna be the secret hero of the of the playthrough after all this? There's gotta be. There's no way that this works on him. Isn't he gonna do the thing where he turns into a bubble and negates your entire attack, just like when you use Unison Rush? I don't remember. What exactly it is he does. Cause I swear I would have done this on him by now if it already if it were doable on him. That's the move that you can't block. Yeah, I love turning into a bubble and negating your entire attack. I'm always doing that. Too slow. This D Link fills faster if you're hitting in the air because Peter Pan will all fly. Oh, maybe, maybe what I'm thinking of is um, I must be thinking of Unison Rush when I say that you can't D Link on him. I might just be thinking of Unison Rush. Slow. 
What's yours is mine. Yeah, you can't normally D-Link on this guy, can't you? It's like not allowed for some reason. That seems familiar. I think I remember complaining about that because I was like, oh yeah, the, usually when you can't D-Link, it's like, oh yeah, you're either in the arena or you're like, there's an NPC, but that's like not, neither of the case against this guy, but he just does it anyways. You can't heal? Well, yeah, but I can renewal block. It's just risky on this guy. I don't even know how I'm supposed to build a meter in time. Maybe I have to wait for him to do his little no shot lock on me, and when he does that, I can just wail on him when he's stationary. Well, the unfortunate thing is that if I do end up getting this to work, I'm, I don't have zero EXP, so I don't think I can... Oh. I don't think I'll be able to, like, actually capitalize on it. Okay, that was the damage. I got caught on something? Okay. I think I tried to do the Terra thing where you, like, stop and you attack them there, but I'm not Terra, I can't do that. No, mines? Uh, mines are only good if you have level 1. I don't even have zero EXP for some reason, it's not on my ability list. It's randomized starting abilities, I guess. That's what I was going for earlier when I died. What I should be going for is counterattack, but I keep getting hit by unblockables all day long. Because of this fight. They gambled on it. The passives being randomized could be like actually a good thing here, but I'm not gonna grind for them. I'm not gonna do that. Too slow. Too slow. Why was that unblockable? Why did I get hit by that? It was my meter because this game sucks. Input reading, little bitch. Short, four nine. Character. Why does he do that? It's been like five years. Hold on. Can I? Never mind. I was gonna try. Shot lock, me see if it could save the meter. I think it does save the meter if you get a shot lock off. Alright, that's a multi hit. I don't have once more. I really shouldn't be doing this. I think this might be too much to ask. But we'll see. Too slow. See ya. Darkness yeah, you even had that attack. I'll get the meter. Well, I got it. I got it filled up, but when you attack him, it means he attacks you immediately. Pathetic. If I hit him during that attack, I get hell a meter, and now it's gone because this guy's an asshole. Grim trap? Yep. Is this it, bros? BBS rando bros? I guess I could turn on the EXP multiplier and just kill like one blob mob. I'd probably do it. If they're still there, the story event is over, so they might not still be there. I just want to make sure he didn't go into the fucking bubble, but I was going to die either way because of that. See ya. It's like the most annoying thing about this fight is that in the first like five seconds he will have like if he's not retaliating He will just do this move unless you like jump on him So sometimes you get like 10 seconds in the fight and then he does it out of nowhere and it's like why did you do that? Why would you do that? 
Why would you try to ruin my day on purpose? We need this remnant. I got him with this attack, and I just die on purpose because fuck that attack. It's annoying. Okay. I couldn't land, and then the thing. Wow, that was insane how the projectile perfectly converged around on me as I landed. It doesn't get much worse than that. Yeah, I don't have zero XP. I just kind of want to see mind. what happens when you activate it on him. I don't know. It's kind of like the only thing going right now. I didn't mash hard enough, I guess. Uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't work with those Yuri XP, huh? It doesn't work, huh? Well, now we know it works. Activate it at slightly of a better time, and they'll just get him. What's yours is mine. Yeah, I mean, think about it. He only has one health bar. Normally, it wouldn't work. True. I mean, normally it would do way more than that, way quicker. True. But he only has one health bar. Defense or otherwise, he's still taking that There's one no damage, and that that's one health bar. Right? Meat and huh? All right, can you do something normal now? You ready to do something normal, Venus? Oh, that's great. There we go. Why didn't I have a fucking counter attack? Whatever. That's really cool that it actually works. I didn't think it would work that well. I just need to catch him. I, I mean, I, I caught him at a good time. I just need to survive the rest of the fight if it gets to that point. I didn't do that. See ya. Too slow. Yeah. See ya. There's no escape. Yeah. Really, the key to this yeah. D-Link is how fast it fills when you're in midair. So, like hitting him here, yeah. and yeah, hitting him there is the key. Yeah. The best thing that could happen right now is if I fill up the meter and then he does the shot lock. He do, he'll just sit there and he'll die. He'll do nothing else. He'll just die. Show me anguish. <laughs> Suffer. Too slow. There's no escape. Too slow. Gotcha. Off screen even. I wouldn't expect anything else from this guy. Suffer. Rare finisher. See the rare gap closer finisher? And after all that. I can't be bothered in the match square, that's why I'm shot locking out. And also it might save my why do I shot lock? I, I just want to save the uh, the meter, that's why I wanted to do that. If you mash X at the start, I think it makes him dodge from this distance, so you can kinda of... It does, okay. Show me anguish. Also. Gotcha. Alright, now we wait. Do something funny. Well, the... Now, that's typically where you do it in the speedrun. For, like, the, the normal guy. The normal version of this. Oh, don't do that. Oh, the meter's not going down. Right, it doesn't do that. Oh, right, that's not... I thought that was a shot lock, whatever. It was gonna run out anyways.
Gotta find the right time. Ow. Darkness waits. Show me Wait, why is it? Oh, I wasn't holding X. I fucked that up. I fucked up the pause input. Hold on. Something weird happened there. Where's my guard? I fucked up the pause. I think I... I got... I, I remember somebody told me that you don't have to mash X. I have been mashing X on that finisher every, every time I did it. Every, what are you saying? Every time I would use... Let me just die real quick. When I was like crashing the game in all those clips, I was mashing it, but you don't have to do that. You can just hold it, but I got my brain got crossed between trying to do both of them at the same time. What was pausing it do? It's, a, it's supposed to like guarantee that you'll get the fast sword bill right off the start instead of the slow one or something. I don't know. I just do it to make sure that it works, and I think I fucked it up that time. I don't know. It's a weird thing. Probably not even needed every time, but I just do it to make sure. Like muscle memory at this point. If I cancel a command too quickly like that, it fucks up my iframes. Sliding dash. How are you gonna not connect like that? What a joke. I did sliding dash too early, that's why. Too pathetic. That's more like it. What? He bonked off of me for once. What? That's unheard of. How are you gonna do that? How do you do that? Point blank like that. I literally swung. Whatever. One good air combo will fill the entire meter because of the way that this thing works. Especially with the double hit part of this mod. Why? There's no escape. All right. Show me anguish. Mm, bitch. Why? The health bar was just long enough. Hooray. For unaugmented sword build. Hey. Talk about the Dunning Cooper effect. What a nice surprise. What a pleasant surprise to, to finish that off. Now, good thing it wasn't the other way around, because you can't D-Link here because Mickey's dumbass is here. So we got lucky. I guess I'll dip my head into uh, secret episode. Or not secret, final. Fuck secret episode, I'm not trying to do that. There, there she is. Go off Aqua. Get that for the thumbnail. Where am I? I guess the uh, armored texture didn't texture her hair properly. For the goth reskin. So many cutscenes in this game, bro. Wait a minute, I'm. Whoa! It just seamlessly transitioned me into final. What? No, wait, where am I? What's happening? Why am I still... Where am I? Th those are the cutscenes for final episode, but I'm in Aqua still. I guess this has some, like, non-automatic New Game Plus thing? Where am I? You're in final? No, I'm not. There's no thing about Bob on Radiant Garden. Or is there? I- oh, okay, so I- So the visual effect isn't on Radiant Garden. But I'm, I'm in final. Okay, that was weird. I've never seen this aspect of the mod. That's actually really cool. I wonder if it's going to put me in secret without having to make save data. I guess I'll do it if it does.
That's really cool. I never knew that. Oh my fucking god. I have to do it. Keep walking, teleport behind me in the cutscene. Okay, you know what? I have to do it. I don't have the damage for this, actually. Uh, hold on. I might have to go grind. I really want to do it. I can't turn something like this down. Where's my guard? What the fuck just happened? Why am I like... Oh, that was weird. I don't even have zero EXP to make this reasonable. I don't have cure. I just have potions. Why do I... Oh, yeah, right. Vinny, just... Just kill me real quick. I need to do something about this before I do anything else. Where were those blob mobs? They were here, weren't they? Today we're going to talk about the Dunning Cougar effect. I wish the game would let me buy a fire. I could really get a good ass command right here if it did. It's not. Two stop press. Yeah, but I'd, I'd have to combine four stops and. Maybe. We'll see. Let's see if I can find those blob mobs. That'll kind of make or break the seed right now. Or whatever this is. Yeah, the blob mobs are not there. It might just be gone forever. Well, here's what I can do though. I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna crank the EXP modifier to like times 100 and just get what I need to make this normal. Normally, I'd be able to put on zero EXP, and I think it'd be normal here, but I don't. I bet for some reason. Let's see if this works. It does. There's time to 100 right here. Just give me the damage, I'll do this without once more. I don't need once more. I have renewal block and second chance and levels. I don't need anything else. I'm level 94. <laughs> Alright. I'll use this for the, the look. Kill him, level 94. Um, any abilities, well, this will just have to do. Even potions are actually kind of nice to have right now. I could use in rush if I want to and bust out that old command. I wonder what happens if you cancel it. I don't need Unison. Unison Rush is only for Terra when he doesn't have infinite dodge rolling. I have infinite dodge rolling. I can do whatever I want. I'm Aqua. I'm Goth Aqua. Uh, yeah, this deck will do it. I want to do Blade Charge. Let me piss real quick and then it is MF time, I guess, again.
Okay, let's do this. It should be no biggie. It's just not having once more is gonna make things... It's gonna balance things out. But I have a blade charge deck and level 90s worth of damage. Let's go. Look at the void gear. Look at that look. Look at how he teleports behind you. That's a thumbnail right there if I've ever seen one. It's so cool. Oh yeah, that's what that's what I ordered. Oh. This is a cool arena for this guy, actually. Oh. A rare potion usage against this guy, actually. Uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? The damage. God damn, he just does not stop comboing, huh? Nice try. Ooh, get those clones out of here! Perfect read on the axe kick. Oh, I didn't like that. Alright, here we go. Spooky time. Oh. I thought I had more time. Okay. I thought I would have way more time for that. Cannot, okay, I have the animation canceling mod so I can kind of fuck around, but I cannot take more than two hits from him. This is kind of a weird scenario. Hey, when this happens early in the fight, you just don't get any music for the entire fight because of the way that this doesn't work in the different arenas. This sound effect. Yeah, and it stacks if it happens again. Ah, here we go. Ah, here we go. The MF creepy pasta. What? Going much over the two years. Thank you very much. Holy moly. Oh, he does not like that. Oh, it's getting so loud. A look inside goth aqua's twisted tragic dividend. Fella thought he could jump over Megaflare, not today. He's going invisible like any second now. My counterattack wasn't a counterattack. What happened? Why oh, is it a swing? Oh well. What does that whip even do? Um, well, in the original version of the game, you couldn't escape from it. 
and then he would like grab you and like hit you back down and bounce you and he had he could he could do the whip a second time and then he would just die like unescapable if you got hit by it the first time now it's like a nothing attack because they may nerfed it but it used to be the most deadly thing you could do because it could literally just be like a one third chance of him just killing you But there was, somebody figured out a way to escape it in some weird way. You had to like mash jump. If you mash jump, then you would have maybe have a chance of escaping it on the PSP version, I remember. Oh, I thought I rolled out of the way. I bet the power of Goofy will be good. Can I D Link? Yeah, you can D Link on phase one. Yeah. I'll get Goofy ready to go for invisible phase. Nice immediate fucking time stop. That's so cool. I love the music in this fight. I love being dead. I wish I had fire surge. You know what's funny about surges? Dashes will activate his time stop, but surges, they don't activate his time stop, do they? Like, not at all? I don't think they do. Another thing to make surge is like the only fucking thing that they want you to use. So weird. Time stop is not tied to crit. I think that's some hearsay. People who decompiled this guy's boss scripts told me to my face. Yeah, it happens when you hit him in the back. Verifiably untrue, by the way. Yeah, Barrier Surge is the only one that would actually hit his time stop because it's physical. It's so fucked up that Fire Dash isn't the same as Fire Surge. Yeah, I have 100% crit rate right now because of the mod and this Keyblade combination. It's all here, so nobody knows how this shit works, not even the devs. Uh, I think the multi-hit does make it so that each one hit is two, but like that shouldn't apply to the dashes though. That's just happening. The run in loop. Sometimes you can just meme him with that. I should get strike rate actually. That might be cool here. It's a really good command here. If you don't search this, which I don't. Damage city on the mayor, what the fuck? Ah. Roxas, the money. Whoa. Hey, thanks for always bringing a smile to my face <laughs> when I watch your KH content. It's always a blast, and I can tell your heart is. Keep up this amazing work. Keep Good timing. No, thank you very much, Cal Teddy, for the five. I hope that, that was audible, but I, I, I hear you. Thank you very much for the $5. I appreciate that. We're in it to win it. Thank you very much. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Bones.
The time stop is so unfortunate, because otherwise this is a good deck. Just, you know, rolling around with fire and, uh, fully charge. <laughs> Mod out the rewind sounds. That might be good, actually, but, like, it would still, like, mute the game's music. I don't know. Like, if you were to just replace it, I don't know. I don't have Leaf Bracer, by the way. This shit's so... I'm, like, compromised at all times. I have the damage, though. It's kind of an interesting balance right now. I've never done it like this. Oh, you hit my guard at the right time block. That was perfectly timed to not hit my shit. I think you can actually get... If he hits you with the rope when you're guarding, it breaks your guard. Because, you know, why not? Fire. Interesting noise. What? What the? Instant laser? I hate when that happens. Like, point blank, the lasers come out. Didn't even react to it. Couldn't even. I think I can do this without once more because I'm level 95. So the damage is gonna carry it. It's just, you know, I can't make any mistakes. Good little fast fall there to get me back on the ground. Get me back on the ground! I'm dying. I can also use dodge offset to kind of have him specifically get by certain parts of my combo, like the one that sends out a fire projectile that doesn't time stop him. Or get him hit by the finisher here. Oh! Give me my shit back, why are you bouncing around forever? I- Whoa! I thought I was much further away from them, goddamn. I thought I was far enough away to roll for a block. Up Tuesday. Okay. Hey, can I get away with that? I can. That was a goner for sure there. That guard into instant mega flare. That's something you can only do with the animation cancel mod. Mute game BGM. That's not what's making the noise. That is a sound effect, that's not the music. Pretty confident. Can I instant cancel potions? I'll have to try that next time I'm on 1HP. What if I do this? Oh, he... Oh. So that's what happens when you try to shot lock, even just four shot locks. It's actually hardcore behavior for him to res he responds to shot locks with insta lasers because this is a game made by sane people. Oh. I 
like how you can see him just kind of like relocate to behind you. Oh, okay. I would like to look into a deck that doesn't immediately cause him to stop time and fuck up the sounds. Pretty sure he doesn't ever do that with Strike Raid, but I have... The store has like three commands that I can use here, and none of them are the ones I want. So like, I kind of have to deal with this. What if I just... You know what? What if I just went Goof all the way? I'm Aqua. I can actually get like perfect guards. You know what? I'm Aqua, I can guard whatever the fuck I want. Full goof experience. I'm just going goofy here. I'm Aqua, I have 360 guard, you know what? Fuck this. I'm getting him down to two bars and I'm, I'm goofing his ass. Alright. Why am I doing this? If I want to use Mega Flare to wipe them out, it has to be frame one. It has to be immediate. Uh. Uh. I potions for I just want to get a little bit of health back and not all of it. Come on. Ah, it's like every time. I hate this guy. Blade charge. That's not blade charge. Oh, I hate this form. It sucks. Wow, that's got to be the worst time I've ever seen him activate that. I've never seen him do that point blank like that. That's actually the rudest shit ever. What the hell? Let me at least turn down the sound so that when it does inevitably stack to like times four, it won't be so loud. That's a bit better. Well, he's really just trying to stall me, huh? You know what? You want to stall me? I'll accelerate. The problem with this arena though, it's got a floor bump that prevents Goofy dealing from going over it, so that can be a bit of an issue. You gotta be closer to the wall here. Dude. Bro. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. I gotta use that against the wall. If he does lasers, I'm doing Goofy immediately. Can I escape? I, I can. Nice. Okay, uh... I have to counter blast. It's gonna put me in Ghost Trap, I don't care. Let's get it over with. Uh oh. Thank you, Ghost Trap. No, I think I was dead no matter what there, because of Frame Trap. Feels well made game with no iframes. Oh, 
Ow, what the fuck? Yeah, this is final episode. I don't have once more, nor do I have the commands. I guess I could eventually. I could try grinding for it with stops, but I don't want to do that. Look at the damage, though. The most fucked up thing about having all the extra damage, though, wow, is uh, you do a really, really meaty hit, but then he rewinds it, and then he gains all of it back, so it's like, oh, all that damage is, you know. He teleported directly on top of me when he did his first pass of Raging Storm. Very unlucky. What the fuck? I should probably look into a slightly different command for this so it doesn't immediately provoke that every two seconds. I'll see what I have. Goofy's the best command anyway, check us out. Come on over here. I wonder if this works without zero EXP though. I mean, I'm level 95, so hopefully it scales off of just the raw damage well enough. I love how this game defers your fucking finish commands because it doesn't work. Really cool. I'll time to see what Goofy's stealing abilities are, though. That could be a game changer, potentially. He's got to roll spam out of it and then activate. Oh. Like that. Oh, no heal. This is ideal. That's a really good move to counter him with this. Okay, this is actually dealing damage damage right now. Hold on. Get over here. Eleven hits right there. No. Nope. Oh, there goes Goofy forever. Maybe that's all I needed right there. Ooh, the meaty. Nope. Yeah, he's in phase two. All right. Maybe even like one HP or some shit. All right. Well, running protocol activated. Show yourself. One point five bars. Uh. Not good. Ooh, what the double hit. Caught him. Blacken. Bruh. You know what would be cool right now if he ran into every single hit of the blade charge finisher? I think that would make me very happy. Without renewal blocking once. That'd be really cool if he did that. I could get a little bit of that action going, that'd be cool. Oh. Guard. 
Okay, I had to cancel that. Okay. I'm gonna get hit by the... No, perfect timing. Stay away from me. Why are you gonna do that? He just stops comboing and immediately activates. Oh well. I didn't get enough damage on the Goofy anyways. He knocked me on my Goofy and I had like so much D-Link that I couldn't activate because I didn't have uh, balloon letters. Maybe I should put that in my inventory. What the fuck? The thing about Goofy dealing that's insanely good is that it gets 50% meter off of one guard. So two guards is an instant Goofy finisher. It's the best dealing in the game for finishers. Oh, well, one of Peter Pan's a bit better for obvious reasons, but you know. Ouch. Okay, this can be done with the power of Goofy. I just need to activate it right when he's in phase two. There's still one more boss after this that could be anything, but it'll be, it won't be MF unless it's like really unlucky for him to show up twice in a row back to back like this. Charge action, huh? Get me out of there. Wow, that was greedy. And it worked. Minimal damage. Speaking of which. Potion? Okay. Don't need it right there. Why did that even happen? Right, I guess I am not afraid of that normally because I have once more and if you get, if you get hit, it's like, okay, well, whatever. But without it, you're dead. You're fucking dead. You can abuse the healing cheese, it just has to deal with the fact that he goes invisible, which is what Goofy is, like, perfect for. And then there's the other, uh, the, the Peter Pan strategy that only works 1% of the time. 99% of the time it crashes the game. It's my favorite strategy, personally. The thing about Goofy is that he's got all the dealings have full, all the finishers have full iframes. It's just Goofy lets you blind fire whatever runs into you in the circular radius just explodes. That's why it's good. Especially when he's invisible. Ah. Uh, give me a break, man. Oh, give me a break, man. I hate this guy. I'm gonna try using Goofy right away and just see how much of his health I can feasibly get just with one cast. Perfect timing with the lasers, too. Oh, yeah, that's great. I wanted him to get on the grass so that there wasn't any situations where I'd get bounced. That's the only problem with this arena is that that little, that tiny little landing for the grass, all the gardens, will prevent you from, like, it'll, you'll bonk against the wall with the goofy D-Link. It's really annoying. Uh, use a D-Link? What's going on? What? I was walking and guarding? I was pressing triangle. And I was like getting walking. I don't know what that was.
I think I could beat him. Like, 100 to 0. Health with one pop of Goofy Dean. Like, why did I die there? I was mashing square. What happened? Did I just run into that? I probably... I'm just too tired. I've been awake for 26 hours. Give me a break. I'm here to fix my sleep schedule. Ooh, how perfect, huh? How, yeah, how perfect, huh? Yeah, the unblockable. So cool. There's some really weird bug when you mash on the D-Link menu when you're guarding, I found with the, the, the animation cancel mod. That was kind of cool, I guess. Impersonated with the 20 months, thank you. I don't heal. Very well. Oh, he's getting owned, hold on. Oh no, I just healed him so much. Dream Bomb with the 10 months, thank you. We out here. Get over here. Oh no, I'm on the opposite side of the fucking garden. He's got, it's okay, he's gonna run into me anyways. Yeah, that's half his health and half my dealing, so this is going well, I guess. There, go. Oh. I thought that was Tornado. Oh, okay. The big thing with this strategy is don't over damage because of renewal barrier. There goes my shit. Okay, maybe I can pick it up from here and just beat him from here. There's Doom. One point five bars. Okay. Don't do that. You are so stupid. Why would you? Oh, I don't. I'm so used to having once more. You can just like get away with whatever the fuck. As long as you have two HP. Okay. Well, let me like get one bar of his health. Just be patient enough to do that, and then go goofy mode. Because goofy mode will just beat his ass if you get mildly lucky. Goof mode, max goof. The the the, the game plan without once more is very very fucked up. Especially with this mod, there's a lot of weird things that can happen. It's, it's fun though worth it. Pretty sure this would be impossible if I didn't have that. Even at level 95 like I am right now. Once more is just that big. Alright, I think that's good enough. Let me just get over on the grass and... Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Oh, that's just swell. Okay. Come on over here. Right against the wall. Nope. That's one too many. Fucking tornado. It's over. It's over. I should pack a balloon letter so that I can just, like, deal with that if that happens. I'm just going raw. Fuck it. Mash mode. Gotcha! gotcha. Him going invisible is such a massive problem on the PSP version when you have no right stick for the camera. Like, that's actually the hardest part, is not being able to look around in the PSP version. Can't emphasize that enough, it, it's so fucked up. Even at level 99, with every ability, it was so bad. And surges, too. Normal strats were insanely hard because of the limitations of the version.
of being able to animation cancel when he pops his guard and I like press a button, I can cancel out of it. Fuck your renewal barrier. Damn, too bad my Mega Flare wasn't ready. My Firestorm? Okay, I got lucky. In between. In between screen wipes, I was able to get my thing out. No! Okay. Oh, mashing, oh, mashing. Oh, blind firing my fire dashes and hoping for the best. Okay, yeah, that's just gonna happen once or twice. Twice, at this point. That was the, uh, the frame one raging storm as soon as you recover from something else just to get you when you're trying to blind fire a fucking fire dash. Very rude, but it's gonna happen, I guess. Alright, we gotta hold off on using Goofy until, like, as late as possible. And not get hit out of it with Tornado. I do that and I'm golden. I would've won, like, three times over. Okay. At least I wasn't in Goofy right there. Uh oh. I'm dead? I'm alive. Long combo Tuesday, dude. Grow up. You know what? It begins. Oh, he's mad. This is not good. I gotta roll this. Ooh. That was really good. That was incredibly good for just now. What the delay? Non tornado. Okay. That was insanely like last frame hitbox bullshit right there. Lingering bitch. Him a little bit there, but it should be fine. Okay, you're never safe with Doom, bitch. I'm always safe with Doom. I'm Aqua. I can guard whatever the fuck I want. Okay. What? Okay. What? Mmm, bitch! 1 HP, baby. Hooray. Never turn down a fight against MF. What is this? What am I looking at? <laughs> what a relief. I'll take it. Give me a punching bag. Who is that? Oh, the fairies are here. Don't don't activate the. F That's not the fairies. Oh fuck. There are two. Bo there are two bosses here. One of them's Ericus. Uh. You're fucking dead. I have to find a way to beat. You're dead. They will you down like a dog. Her without getting killed by him. Okay, this is a puzzle. Just don't do the mini game for the fairies, or else you'll get soft locked. I don't want that to happen after all this. I think that's a light show, dude. Get this stupid lightning out of here. Five year attack, bro. Grow up. Gooby. Wait, two months. Thank you. Oh no. 
Look at that projectile hell. Why are there ads? Put into it. Jeez, iframes, of course. Why are there so many projectiles around me? Get away from me. Grow up. It's been five years. You can guard this. Uh oh. Yeah, this can still happen. Okay. Uh, what is this one for Aqua? Something's happening. Oh, this is the one with all the Aurora Borealis localized entirely within Radiant Garden at this time of year. Put into it. Ah, oh, thank God. All you gotta do is kill one of them, and you win. Goodness gracious. That was way more than I signed up for. Let's see if it puts me in secret episode. If it just automatically puts me in there, then I think I, I want to do it just for the sake of how cool the technology is. Let's see where it puts me. Somebody asked me what gaslighting and Stockholm Syndrome is. Okay. Yeah. Thank God, no, I don't want to do a secret ending. I think I've had my full. Well, how long would that take me? Let's see. I kind of have to. It's the whole... I gotta do the whole shebang. I'm level 95. I can do whatever I want. I'll do this real quick. I want to see what happens when I go in there. Maybe it's not... Do I seem to recall that this actually isn't randomized? Like they didn't implement it in any way? That's a final episode? Huh? Didn't I give me an option for the other one? Oh, oops. Did it actually give me the save data for secret? It actually didn't. Yeah, whatever, who cares? I'm out of here. We gotta do our last round of orb versus bones. Y'all have been sitting on that for a while with your bets. So let's boot that up and call it a day. Oh yeah, I don't have all the reports. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they'll, they'll gatekeep me from doing that. Alright, hold on, let me connect to my server. Oh yeah, they, they've... The bots have been dueling since, like, three hours ago. They're still dueling. They've been dueling ever since, just back-to-back -back training. Let me just get the map all correct. Look at what I just stumbled into. Right? Since they've been dueling this whole time, where's the fucking screen capture? Will you grow up and... There you go. So they're both frozen. Overtime times 70. They've been here for 140 minutes just standing, because I guess they, like, broke or something. Oh, uh, what's the map? What are we doing? Guess we'll go to, let's just go to a classic. I'll just take it to a... Uh, what run? Medium size. Okay, bones versus orb. The run back. Oh, let me make my thing louder because I turned it down earlier. There we go. Oh, I need to set it so it follows. Oh, 
whole stream of bones versus orb betting. No, I think I want it to just be something I spice on random breaks. Hey, the HD screen, but full screen, yeah. This is the game, boy. What's up, Elmo? Bones is up too. He's looking pretty good right now. Oh shit, he actually made the jump to red armor. I mean the cam isn't following. It's supposed to follow the killer, so like if Orb kills Bones here, then it'll swap over the Orb's POV. I had to turn that back on. So the win criteria here is whoever has more kills within 10 minutes is purely a timer uh, based thing. Bones and Orb are the only characters that I care about for this. They're the mascots. Oh shit, the direct rocket. Okay, Bones. From that distance, he's up four. Bone sweep. I think he wants his revenge. Yeah, he's tweaking. He wants that red armor and he's got it. Can't believe the bots know how to make that jump without like a strafe jump. It's actually insane. God damn, Orb just like walked backwards in a straight line and got hit by a direct rocket. You can't be doing that, Orb. You got the mega health. <laughs> That's 200 health on Overstack. If you don't know how Quakes health and armor system works. If you go above 100, it like it lets you overstack to 200 in each, but it ticks down every second, so you can't just keep it forever. Why are you rocket jumping, Bones? He rocket jumped to get rocket ammo, what a chad. Also, when you take um, damage, two thirds of that will go to armor, but one third of it will go to your health. <clears throat> so if you have one HP, but 200 armor, you'll die in one shot. So it's not like Fortnite where like you gotta break the armor to hurt the health. It's like a blend. Health is more valuable than armor. You can see that on the health bars. The yellow is the health and the blue underneath it's the armor. Okay, orb is on the board. For how long? We got the lightning gun. It's a good gun. He's out of ammo though. Hey, you got the kill with the machine gun. Bones, though, he's got a 100 HP overstack. He's got a major health advantage. He picked up the mega health. Oh, orb with a, a yellow of his own. About tied. Five minutes remaining, halfway through. Orb has got a lot to do. Alright, here we go. Plasma on rockets. Air shot from Bones to keep them tied in the HP department. Air shots are insane, like the, the prediction. Almost robotic 
accuracy. The grenade launcher. Holy shit, Bones actually just randomly hitting him with the grenades just bouncing around on the ground. Orbs cannot handle it. Orbs running out of time to make this comeback. Bones is sitting comfortable with 160 health. Yet another mega health. How many has he picked up? Rocket on rocket. Bones pulling his IP out a little bit. Looking his router. Is he angry? Lag switch? Okay, Bones, I see you. Playing dirty. Ooh! Orb with the surprise comeback with the plasma gun. Break down with the 23 months, thank you. How are we doing on armors? Yeah, it seems about even in terms of pickups. The only Bones has managed to actually- Oh, as I say that, Orb manages to do his first jump to the red armor. As Bones grabs the mega health on his way backwards through that fight, keeping himself alive. I'm putting Orb at a major health disadvantage right now, but Orb somehow some manages to sneak around the corner. And get through the teleporter. Will he be chased? He is, but he got the 50. And he gets the kill with 3 HP with the shotgun! Okay, four down. Only two and a half minutes. I'm not sure if he can make it at this rate. Does he get the armor? No, he's not trying for it. If he falls, he would probably die. He's gonna die here no matter what. Unless Bones leaves. Owl gets him around the corner with the rocket. It's not looking real good for Orb. Down five in a slow paced map. Orb spotted. He's got the machine gun, doing a lot of good damage with it. But not enough. This is looking all but over for Orb fans. It's Orber. You could even say. Minus 20. Bones with another jump to the red arm. He's really good at that. Orb has only managed that one time. One minute remaining, just about. Six frags down. It's entirely possible. It's entirely impossible at this point. Unpossible. It would take a miracle for Orb to come back now. Especially with this health advantage? No way. Bones just absolutely playing with his food now, just pelting grenades just around the vicinity of Orb, and getting him with two directs, including his own HP. I actually have both of their AIs, like I literally tweaked their AI earlier today to make them like identical to each other. So now it's just down to their personalities. Hypothetically it should be 50-50 over the course of like a million matches, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. 10 seconds remaining, it's looking like it's bones. I found Orb's IP address. Get him! And it's over. Let's look at the damage. Yeah, Bones with a clear damage and accuracy advantage, though not by much. GG's to Bones, evening the score to 1-1. One, one. That'll conclude today's session. Thank you guys for watching the finale of the BBS Rando for now. I don't know when I'll come back to it. 
it's kind of something that, you know, once in a blue moon, once every other blue moon even. But I had a lot of fun, and I'm glad I was able to make a video out of it too, all the same. Make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already, and I guess next stream is most likely going to be uh, my first my first whirl through uh, KH1 level 1. I know what to expect, I know what the strats are, but I've never done it, so it'll definitely be an, a fresh experience, that's for sure. It will definitely be new to me. Thank you guys for subbing for that as well, as a sub goal that was smashed pretty immediately into the stream. If you missed this VOD or you want to rewatch it or something, I'll be uploading this on the main channel, or not the main channel, <laughs> the stream archive, uh, probably tomorrow, or by tomorrow. Unless it takes forever to process, like the fucking Ventus uh, stream that took like two full days to process for some weird reason, you know the vibes. I'm going to toss you guys over to Asa, he's back from EVO playing Tekken 7. I haven't rated him in a while, make sure to say what's up and hang out. He's doing his Tekken thing. Tekken's pretty cool. I think I'll get Tekken 8 when it comes out. I'm kind of a Tekken gamer in terms of fighting games. Like, one of the only ones I actually got into and learned. But yeah, now I'll see y'all on the flip side. I don't know how many days it'll be until I stream next. I might take a couple days to chill and get ready for KH1 level 1. Get some videos done. And just chill. Have a good night. Oh, payout, payout. Thank you. You are right. Fuck. I'm, I'm new to this, okay? You usually just have my mods do it. But it's okay, I got this one. I gotcha. Bone bros, you win this round. Hopefully you got your money back if you were a believer twice in a row. Choose outcome bones. Complete prediction. Almost forgot, yeah. True and real. Alright, have a good night, everyone.